Welcome, and here we go. It is week four, day number two, Woo! and we are so excited Woo! to have you with us. I'm Sean Parr. To my right, of course, our good friends, the Remington. So great to see you guys, Hello. as always. Good morning, good morning. And, of course, right over here, the Jurgies, an amazing family that you all follow, I'm sure, online. You should follow both if you haven't already. And we have seen a lot of incredible uh, vehicles over the last day or so, and we're going to see a lot more today, right? We're going to see a ton. And you know what I love about this? I just love, like, inspiring people with the family travel. And this is what it's all about. So I'm so excited to share more, more of these trailers today. Yeah. And when we talk about the trailers, uh, we talk about being on the road. You guys do this in the fifth wheels, which we're going to go into that segment here in just a moment. And, Bryce, we have a lot of giveaways, too, to talk we, about. We do. I'm excited for that part. We got scooters, gift cards, power sports. We got Ooh. a lot we're giving away. And if you're not registered, you don't qualify. So make sure to text URVS to 46642, and then you'll be eligible for these amazing giveaways happening today. Well, also, we have something special planned for you today. The first ever Ultimate Market Sweep. That's going to be happening. It's the Remingtons <laughs> going toe-to-toe -to -toe or basket to basket, if you will, <laughs> in the Ultimate Shop Off. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we're real excited. We've been game planning all day <laughs> on how we're going to take out the jerkies because they're beating us one to zero right now. Redemption. We need redemption. Yeah, we, we love the competition the part of what we do here. <laughs> champions. That's, it's all about the fun. It's all about the family. Most importantly, it's all about you, showing you the best units possible. We start today with the fifth wheel class with the unique sleeping space, and Ian has got us dialed into a Dutchman Atlas, the 3552 mid-bunk KB. Take it away, Ian. Coming in at 39 foot and 11 inches is the 2021 Dutchman Atlas 3552 MBKB. And folks, this is a really cool segment. Um, we, we have some floor plans that are a little bit different when you're talking about sleeping spaces. If you've been watching the show the whole time, you know, been, been paying attention, uh, one of the things I said earlier was that a lot of times in the back of the RV is where you will have your big feature. And if you take a look around, you kind of pan, you will see that this one at its heart is a rear living floor plan. But a few years ago, uh, the RV industry, and you know, they're starting to see it in a lot of different manufacturers now, came up with something they called a mid bunk. For the longest time, any bunk rooms were either in the back or occasionally in the front, most of them being in the rear. You'd either have like a rear corner bunk set up or you would have a bunk room in the back of the RV. And it's great, it's great for sleeping, it's excellent for kids, they have all that space, but what generally would be sacrificed is the living area, right? Like the kids get the best part of the RV and the adults are kind of stuck you know, in, in a little bit smaller space, you can't get as good of configurations. Um, and it just doesn't, it, it doesn't appeal to a lot of parents. But that was the only option, so that's what people went with. And, and there are still a lot of great rear bunk floor plans, right? And I, I've uh, done, we've done a number of them throughout the show, we'll continue to do more because they have improved upon them and definitely made them a lot better. But one of the things that came out is a mid bunk. And I absolutely love this floor plan because as you can tell, when you walk in, everything appears to be rear living. You have dual opposing slides helping to open up this middle space and it gives you the center island right here in the kitchen. And you can see this is a huge island, folks. I mean, you know, I, at six foot, right? I have about a six foot wingspan. You can see, I mean, that is a massive island, beautiful solid surface countertops in here. You have tons of prep space on either side. You have the drying rack right here above the sink. It is a gorgeous stainless steel apron front sink, high rise pull out faucet storage on both sides and one of my favorite parts take a look at this you pull it out and you have a location for two trash cans right here dedicated spot for it uh, i absolutely love that and you can see you know at a quick glance the apron front there and all the other storage that comes along with this so beautiful kitchen space right here you'll also see the double door fridge freezer combo open that up for you so you can take a look at the size here this one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over cool thing about this is with the propane you know if you're going somewhere and you don't have shore power you can still keep things cold you know if you move to a residential refrigerator you're kind of sol you need shore power you need a generator but here you're good to go so a lot of people you know if you're planning on staying somewhere that doesn't have shore power still like having a propane refrigerator now it doesn't 
cool down nearly as quickly as an RV fridge, but you know, it's kind of the trade-offs, right? It's like a lot of things in the RV industry. You have trade-offs. Which way do you want to go? And, and folks, that's one of the things, right? We're, we're here. We, we know all these things, especially if you're new. I know a lot of people watching this are new to the RV industry. Let us help you. Let the people with the expertise help you out. If you have questions, if you're like, you know, I do love this mid bunk as we go through it, but I do want a residential refrigerator. Some uh, manufacturers, that's an option. Sometimes it's not, but we're here to help you. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642. That will let one of our specialists get in touch with you to help walk you through, find the perfect RV for you, or at least show you the options that are out there. And if you are interested in buying, it will also lock in the show pricing, which is a huge deal. Uh, right next to the fridge is our cooktop. You see, again, solid surface countertops here. They're beautiful, recessed cooktop, three burner there. Lift that guy up. The front one's high output, oven underneath, knobs light up, and then storage all the way around with the big microwave right here up top. Now, let's take a quick look at the living area because you will see the huge TV that is straight across from theater seating. So you can watch it from here on the sofa, you can watch it in the theater seats, you have a great view to that. Storage up top, multimedia center here with HDMI input. So if you wanna put like a Blu-ray player or something right here, you're able to plug it in there, which is great. And you will also see the fireplace right down below, which not only uh, looks great, but also helps kick out some actual heat. In the very back is the sofa. So this does uh, fold out into a sleeper. You will see See that on both sides you have the uh, um, end table so you have a spot for beverage and then you'll also notice these have electrical outlets and usb ports in case you need to plug in you know whatever laptop tablet whatever you may have plus storage all the way across the top now right here you know again pretty common for rear living I have my theater seating directly across from the TV. This is something in the RV industry they started doing uh, a few years ago because they realized that, you know, sitting here like this and watching the TV like this isn't comfortable. It'll start to hurt your neck after a while. This is a lot more natural. It's how we set up our homes. Why wouldn't we want that for our RVs? So both of these recline so you can kick back and relax. Also in this slide is our freestanding table and chairs right here. You need a place to sit down and have meals together, and this is the place that will allow you to do that. So, um, you know, you can have two people here, four people here, and able to accommodate that. Big windows all the way around. And look, folks, at six foot tall, I can still stand in this slide. I can fully stand up here. I'm not hitting my head. Uh, so that is, again, another advantage. Now, we've seen this, and you're thinking, Ian, okay, it's a real living. I got it. What makes this a mid-bunk? Well, that is right here, and this is part of it. And again, there's different floor plans here, right? Some of them have what we have here, which is a sofa and a slide. Some of them will have another bunk above this. This current one does not. You have the sofa, it's a trifold. This folds out into a bed, can comfortably sleep one to two people here, plus the window up top. You'll see at the foot, you have additional storage, right? All the way throughout. So storage top there on the bottom there, plus a spot for TV. So if you do want a TV in here, you can sit right there on the couch and watch TV. Now. Uh, there are some manufacturers that call us a different name. Instead of a mid-bunk, they'll call it like a bonus room, right? Or an extra room. And the reason for that is it doesn't have to be for sleeping. It, let's say you want to watch two separate shows. Someone can be out here watching a show. Someone can be in here watching a show. Let's say you do have kids and they want to play on the PlayStation, right? They were lucky enough to get one of the new PlayStation 5s because you're the best parents in the world because you were able to get one. You can sit right in here and be able to, uh, and they, or rather they can sit in here and play while you're out here watching TV or doing whatever else, or maybe you just don't want to hear it. You kind of have their own little space. So there's a lot of different uses for this. Uh, I've, I've also heard it called the mother-in-law suite. You know, mother-in-law wants to come around, wants to go camping, she can have her own space right in there. The other part of this though, and this is uh, again, common for some mid bunks, some are a little bit different, is this right up here, and that is the loft space. Not only do we have the sleeping space down there, but we have a ladder built in, and there is additional sleeping space right up here with a cubby hole, so that you can sleep more people. USB ports up here to charge cell phones. Folks, this RV can sleep up to nine people, which is pretty darn incredible. Now, it's definitely a longer RV as most mid bunks are. That's one of those things, you know, that again, we're able to help you with. Maybe you want a mid bunk, but maybe you don't have the tow vehicle for it. We're able to help you out with that. This one right here is a smidge under 40 foot, it's 39 foot, 11 inches. Comes in at uh, right around 11,000 pounds dry, a little over. So it's definitely not a small RV, but it is uh, not only large, but also large on features. And this is another part of it I love. I had to show this if we come in here. 
you have dual vanities, folks. How often do you get that when you have a bunk model, right? Having two vanities. This is fantastic. Great storage underneath. You know, little linen closet behind the door. I can fit right here in the shower. You know, there's uh, there's just a ton of space in here. You know, it's six foot tall. Again, more than enough room. And if we take a quick peek into the bedroom, I'll show real quick there before we head out. As you know, I, I definitely don't want uh, to miss out on some of the things up here. One of them, washer and dryer prep. I know that's a big one for a lot of people. If you're spend, planning on spending a lot of time, maybe you're thinking about full timing, you want to make sure that you have washer dryers. So you don't have to make runs to the laundromat. This one is prepped for it. You also see the beds in a slide out. It gives you more room. The windows open on both sides for cross ventilation. You have a wardrobe up front here for storage. Plus, you'll see you have storage at the foot of the bed and a spot for a TV here in the bedroom. Another thing, this one comes with one AC. It is prepped for a second. Now, Folks, personally, if it's me, if you're going somewhere warm, you're gonna want that second AC. This is a big RV at almost 40 foot. Um, you know, as I said, I, I would definitely get that second one. Uh, I don't think the, the one is gonna be able to handle it personally, but that's you know definitely a decision you can make. But as I mentioned, we're here to help, folks. If that's that's one of those things I can I can help you out with, or you know, any specialist that you talk to can help help you out with. I want to make sure that you get the RV that works for you. And again, all you have to do is text that keyword fresh to 46642, drop it in the comments section right down below, or give us a call. If you're someone that likes to talk on the phone, I do sometimes, especially if I'm going into depth. You know, I don't want to, uh, you know, necessarily uh, uh, text, right? I want to call someone and you can do that. Just call 877-297-8725. Get in touch with us and we will make sure we're finding the perfect RV for you. Painted front cap on the front end. Propane, you'll have a 30 pound tank on each side. So you have one here, another one on the other side. But take a look at this. Look at all of this space that you have. I mean, this is massive garage space in here. Um, you know, it, it does have an LED light uh, going all the way across there. It's not on currently, but it does have the LED light, so it will brighten things up in there. Another thing, and the control is over there, you probably can't see it, but this one does have auto level, folks. You touch a button, this one will level everything, or it'll level itself out. That's something, if you're you know, just getting into RVing, um, that's a big deal, right? Because it, that's one of the most time intensive parts. You know, once you back it in, once you're able to navigate and hopefully aren't fighting with uh, whoever is guiding you back in, but once you get it into the space, you need to make sure you put blocks underneath and level it out. Having auto level will take a ton of time off setup, really makes life simple. If you take a look up top, you will see two large awnings, one right here and then another one right back here on the slide. So like your, your entire campsite has awning coverage, which is fantastic, and LED lights so you can light it up at night. You have the upgraded steps, the more ride step above step system, works wonderful, very solid, right? I'm over 210 pounds, can run up and down this thing, it doesn't flex. I have the big grab handle for extra control when entering or exiting the RV. I was making our way back a little bit further, I mean, you can see if you want TV, we have TV hookup back here as well. I'm telling you folks, this thing is absolutely phenomenal, and it's at a great price. That's one of those things. There's a lot of mid bunks out there. So depending on what you want, you know, we have different levels. We have different price points to fit different budgets. This Atlas for the show is starting at 52, 915 or as low as $12 and 67 cents a day. If that sounds tempting to you, which it absolutely should for everything you're getting, an almost 40 foot fifth wheel that can sleep nine people, then you're gonna wanna text the word RV to 46642 because that lets us know that this is the one that you're interested in. If you like what you saw, but you're not 100% sure, maybe you want something a little bit different, that's great. Text the keyword fresh. That'll give you access to over 100,000 pieces of inventory, both on the lot and on order that we can make sure we're gonna navigate through and get you the best RV. RV. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. The Atlas is absolutely beautiful, and as you saw in that unit, there are several TVs, right? So let's talk a little bit about TV, some of the options that you have. 
your basic one is going to be the TV antenna right here. Now, there's a couple different styles here as well. If you have a little bit older RV, you're probably used to what they call the bat wing. And that is going to be manual in the aspect that you are going to raise it up and drop it down. The big advantage to having an antenna is the fact that, well, once you purchase the antenna, you have the antenna, which again, most of most new RVs will come with one, is it's free TV, so you don't have to pay anything. Uh, the big disadvantage, of course, is the fact that you're going to be restricted to the local channels. So whatever you can get in is really all you're going to be able to get. Now, as you can see, there are a couple different options when it comes to the antennas. You have one that you can retrofit if you already have an RV, a little bit older style. Or you can get something like the Razor right here, which is a low profile that you don't have to worry about raising up and down, right? Because if, again, if you raise that one up and you forget, chances are it's gonna break off. You might hit something, the wind might take it. With something like this, you don't have to worry about it. So again, cool thing about the antennas, it's just kind of a, a fire and forget. You purchase it, you buy it once, you're good to go. The other option for our RVers that's very common is going to be satellite. Now this starts getting a little more confusing. Uh, I'm going to go over it briefly, just kind of give you a couple options, some rundowns, but know that if you're interested in satellite, I highly, highly recommend coming into a camping world. We have experts that are trained and they will help navigate you through the process. They'll make sure that you get the right antenna with the right receiver to run the proper number of TVs because they're not all built the same. What we have right here, we have two of them. One is the Playmaker, the other one is the Carryout. Now, here's where I talk about where it starts getting a little bit confusing, some of the differences. The Playmaker right here will only work on Dish, okay? So if you have Direct TV, this is not one that you wanna look at. Uh, the, the reasons this is our most popular unit though is because it's a little bit less expensive. Uh, if you're looking to get into satellite, you want something that's inexpensive, portable, you just wanna run one TV, the Playmaker here is the one for you. If you want something, uh, you know, you want to be able to run two TVs, or if you do have direct TV, you might want to look at something like this, which is the WineGuard Carryout. This one is really uh, neat because it will run on both Dish and Direct TV, so you have a couple options there. And as I mentioned, it can do two TVs at the same time. Now, it, these are portable systems, but there are other systems as well. You have your fixed systems. And with those, especially if you want in motion, that's a whole nother monster altogether. If you have a motorhome and you wanna be able to watch TV while you're traveling, these are not gonna do it. You're going to need something uh, separate, but again, we're able to help you out with that. Now, not only do you need the antenna, but you're also going to need a receiver. If you have one at home, you may be able to use it. One of the very common ones is this one right here, which is the Wally. -E. It's fairly inexpensive, compact, and you can get a bunch of upgrades like DVR if you so choose. Again, folks, come on into the store. We'll help you out. You want to talk about unique sleeping space, folks. This bad boy can sleep nine, two full baths. You get the center island in the kitchen. This is the all-new 2021 Sierra 383 BLOK. And I really, really like this floor plan. We're going to go through starting right here in the main living area and the kitchen. And as I mentioned, what you'll notice is because of the dual opposing slides, that allows the kitchen island right here. This, of course, will afford you a lot of prep space. Right over to the side, beautiful, solid surface countertops you will see the sink top covers now as I always say right I, if it's me I'm removing one of these I'm gonna put this one over to the side put it in a storage space I'm probably gonna leave this one here because I get all of this prep space right here and I still have access to the sink if I need to wash dishes right when I'm done cooking I'm done prepping food then I'm taking the other one off then I'm gonna get right down into the sink you have the high-rise pull-out faucet making everything an absolute breeze naturally anytime you have solid surface you you should always undermount the sink because why wouldn't you it looks cleaner it's easier to keep clean because you don't have a ridge you can just sweep everything like this right down into the sink doesn't get stuck along the edge of the sink like that and as you saw with the sink top covers it makes everything flush so we take a look underneath you will see plenty of storage here too you get three full extension ball bearing drawers over to the side there is space for a trash can so you don't have to worry about a trash bag or anything like that hanging out it's just uh sets right in there then we take a look at the entertainment center over to the side right because in this floor plan your entertainment area and your kitchen are all kind of blended into one because we have a beautiful bunk room we'll see in the back in just a moment so large tv and this is straight across from the main seating area and i'll show you that in just a minute but it's big enough that if you are sitting in the dinette or you're sitting on the sofa, you still have a good view to it. And if you're on the sofa again, you're not having to crane your neck. It is a straight shot right across. 
Underneath is the multimedia center, so you're getting that sound bar quality. You will see that it has several, several different zones for both inside as well as the speakers outside and the fireplace underneath. Now, not only does this fireplace look nice, right? Pop it on, it's got the nice little appeal. You can change the color of the flames, but also that is a space heater. And you know, something like this, I mean, this one is 42 foot two inches, right? This is a pretty big rig. Chances are you're gonna be parking this somewhere where you have shore power because you know, the fireplace will require shore power as well. But the thing is, is if you use this just to kind of take the chill off in this space, that's free heat. You don't have to burn propane. You can just turn that on. So not only does it look nice, but it also is very functional. Another thing that's really cool about this one, folks, I said, you know, it's pretty big at 42 feet. It's, it's heavy as well. You have to have a big truck. This one comes in uh, right around 13,500 pounds, a little under that dry. So definitely a little bit bigger, but you have a 127 gallon gray tank. So, you know, if, if you uh, do go somewhere where, you know, you uh, don't necessarily have direct connections, you don't have direct drains, maybe you have the city water hookup and you have electric hookup, but you don't have sewer right there on the site, that's okay because you have a 127 gallon gray tank and an 82 gallon black tank. So you can just let those tanks sit, be able to get you through your trip and then dump them before you leave. Moving further into the kitchen again, even here, right? In the entertainment area, still that solid surface to help keep everything continuous. And one of my favorite parts about Sierra when we're talking about kitchens is this right here, something very unique. They use the Insignia four burner cooktop. You can see this is a standalone unit. It's very residential in both its form and the function. Getting four burners is something that happens very, very rarely in uh, any RV. You know, unless you start stepping up into the you know, half a million dollar to a million dollar motorhomes, sure. But in a towable RV, a four burner cooktop generally doesn't exist. So I love that they put that in there. And then look at the size of the oven, folks. If you like cooking, you like doing casseroles, you know, you like doing uh, cakes, maybe you're a baker, right? You can do it right there with that massive oven. You also see the big microwave right up top and the residential fridge freezer combo. Take a look at this. One of the other things I love is the fact this one has an ice maker built right in. If you know me, you know I like my cocktails. I love having ice on hand, right? I can just make it right there from the campground. Now, one of the things I do recommend is making sure you have an inline water filter, especially with an ice maker, right? You don't want a bunch of sand and stuff in your ice cubes. Make sure you have an inline water filter coming in, make sure you're getting beautiful, clean ice. We'll see the rest of the entertainment center in just a minute, but first we have to hit this bunk room because this is one of the coolest parts about this. Very, very unique. As we make our way back here, you will see right up top is a bunk. So we have sleeping space right there. Uh, this is 74 inches long. So even as a six foot adult, you can still sleep up there. Right down underneath is our sofa. Now you will see this drops down to kind of create, you know, like pseudo theater seating, right? You can have a person on each side, have the cup holder there, or you can flip it up and everyone can just hang out right here. Now this one is kind of cool. If you take a look right underneath here, you will see it is powered. So if you want to plug in, um, you know, if, you, if you're young and have a CPAP machine or maybe adults are sleeping back here or if you just want to charge a laptop or a tablet, cell phone, you have USB ports there as well. But this one comes out just like that. You pull this forward a little bit, drop it down, boom. There is your sleeping space. Nice and easy to make up. So uh, I love that, that that is here. But what really, really makes this one unique is on the other side, folks. Take a look at this. You have the ladder, you can climb on up. You have two bunks up here. You have the one sitting here and you have another one here. Both of those are also 74 inches long. So you can sleep two more adults up there, which again is something you just normally don't get. Spot for a TV, you have closed storage over there to the side. And one of the things I mentioned very early on is that this one is a two full bath unit. So if you take a look right back here, here we are porcelain bowl, right? I can take a seat right here, plenty of room for my shoulders as well as for my legs. You can see the sink top there in the medicine cabinet as well as the uh, tub shower there. Having a tub is always great when you have a bunk unit because if you do have small kids, you're able to give them a bath, but you get another full bath back here. And if we make our way back up front, you of course get the bath up front too. So come on through with me a second. 
You can take a look at the super slide, the dinette right here, nice clean colors, right? It's you know, more, it's a little bit brighter. They use the brighter fabric, kind of a little bit lighter wood here, which I like. You have the blue lights underneath, both underneath the dinettes as well as the kitchen island, really helping to bring all of that together. You will also see your sofa here. So again, tri-fold sofa. You can sleep two more adults right back there as long as they're you know okay snuggling up. Huge ceiling heights. You can see right now we have the ceiling fan on helping to move the air around. Also beautiful light fixture, the kind of that farmhouse look. I think they knocked it out of the park with that one. And then you get the bar area. So, you know, whether you wanted a coffee bar, a standard bar, uh, whatever you really want to do here, or if you just want to use it for storage, you know, you can fit extra cups and things in there. Same thing right down below. Your uh, panel is tucked away right over here to the side. Very clean, easy to use. Tank monitoring panel will be on there as well as all, you know, your lights. You can touch a button. Everything is super simple. Inverter will be right there. A little bit of storage up top. And then again, right down here, thermostat uh, is located right next to that. And of course, uh, that will control both your ducted AC as well as the heat. You can see a light right there on the stairs, courtesy light. So if you have to use this bathroom up here, um, you know, and you're coming up from the main living area at night, it makes it easy to do so. When I fold this door open, come on up, we'll take a look in the bathroom real quick. It's the other, the other bathroom, I should say. Drop this down again, six foot, 210 pounds. I have plenty of leg room here as well as shoulder space, porcelain bowl, nice and easy to clean, just like we had in the back. Vent fan, I'll take a step in this shower. You know, if one's gonna be short, this would be the one. I have plenty of head space. You have a big skylight right there. The uh, hand wand is on a bar and I have a seat in case you need to shave your legs. Additional storage, plus a vanity right over here. And then as we take a walk into the bedroom, let me sneak by you a second. Cause I do wanna show you this as well. Slide out bed with shelves on both sides as well as some cubby holes right over to this side there. You'll see the big hanging rod here our King Wi-Fi, so if you want uh, a Wi-Fi, you have that unit right there, which is both an extender and you can get uh, cellular service. Plus, over to this side, washer dryer prep, folks. If you want washer dryer in a unit, this one has it. And a lot of times that's a big deal when we're talking about families, especially if you're thinking about full timing. This is a great one for it. You have fully enclosed and heated underbellies. You have washer dryer prep. You have plenty of sleeping. You have TV so people can watch all sorts of TV. Nice big kitchen, beautiful high-end amenities. And one of the things I really like about it is the fact that you get all of this starting at 61 $9.95. Folks, that's $12.39 a day. You can have this beautiful fifth wheel. All you need to do to claim that, to be able to lock in that price, is text RV to 46642. Let's take a walk back here. I want to drop down. I want to show you a couple things underneath. Starting with the tires. So those are uh, load range F tires. Most RVs are E, so you have beefier tires on there, which you know when you're talking about quality of construction is always something that is important. Uh, you can't really see it, but this one does have the underbelly panels. Uh, so I like that because it's an upgrade over, you know, your standard, uh, most, uh, when you have an enclosed underbelly, a lot of times it's like a corrugated, uh, like a board essentially, right? But here you have actual ABS panels. They're a lot sturdier. It helps protect that underbelly better. And if you need to do any kind of maintenance, it's a lot cheaper to access because you can just take the screws off of one panel, drop that panel down and access whatever you need to. If you have a fully enclosed underbelly normally, you have to remove the entire thing a lot of times or cut a hole in it and try to patch it, which isn't very easy. Uh, so this method is definitely preferred. You also see that you have the level up auto level system. That's gonna be right down there. If you can kind of see that leg right there it is. So all you have to do is touch a button and this coach will level itself out. And you're thinking, man, Ian, that is a ton of amazing features. What else? Folks, it doesn't stop. Right over here, you can see the outside kitchen. So you have that big, beautiful kitchen inside, a ton of sleeping, two bath plus an outside kitchen, lots of storage right over here. That you'll see that it is strut supported. Again, that construction, that quality of construction rather all the way through. You have some blue lights in here, really helping to accent it, right? Make it look uh, really sharp. You know, if you wanna put some uh, bottles out here, you can. Otherwise, you can use it for additional prep space, sink, microwave, and my personal favorite right there, of course, is the, uh, what I like to call the beer fridge, but you know, it can be soda, it can be condiments, whatever else you wanna put in there. Plus, there's a propane quick connect right down underneath to operate this grill right back here. So that way, if you wanna do some cooking, you can 
can do that nice and easily. Don't even need to worry about buying one because it does come with it. Folks, this is an awesome RV. If you're looking for something to sleep a lot of people, you have a big vehicle to tow it, or you're thinking about buying you know, a one-ton truck, this is one you don't want to miss out on. If you like what this has to offer, but maybe you don't have a vehicle big enough to tow it, that's okay. We have over 20,000 units on the lot, 80,000 coming in. We can help you out. Simply text the word FRESH to 46642. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Oh, yeah. Sleep spaces that we've talked about. We've been seeing so many great units, and we've actually toured several where you and I have, have walked through. He was also talking about satellites and the communications of being out in the remote areas, which is what you guys know all about. Yeah, so I'm working 100% remote for my, my day job, and, uh, yeah, you can see the picture behind us. We were out there on Lake Jasper. So That was lunch break. Yeah, it was yeah. a quick lunch break, you know, a couple casts, but no, yeah, it's all about having a good antenna that has a good range because we got that 4G LTE. Yeah, Tiffany know, and Adam. Caleb know all about being out there. They live the lifestyle. If you ever drive on the road and you see the Good Sam Class C RV, it's completely wrapped. It's, you call it Big Red or Old Red? Big or? Red. Well, we did a, actually a poll last week, and people were giving us different names. We got Cinnamon. We got Clifford. Actually, Clifford Clifford's was huge. Really a lot of people were saying, you know, the Big Red Dog. Oh. Have you seen Clifford the Big Red Dog? Okay, now you are okay. looking at us like hello. <laughs> and over. But I was like, okay, Clifford can stick, so we're gonna call it Cliff for right now because the people want it. Okay, see, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> we're having fun. This is the ultimate RV show national tour as we continue, and we're getting ready to go. And it's some really unique, and I love the Coleman Motorhomes because we have oh, yeah. so many different floor plans to choose from. Yeah, we're very familiar with it. I yep. mean, our Class C itself is one of those amazing layouts and we still cannot get over how easy it is to pack up and go and just be so mobile. We love it. Love yeah, it. this particular unit that we're going to go into is a Thor Coleman and I know you're going to love this and we've got Chris Young who is working hard to show you this one. Take it away, Chris. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. We are excited because we get to introduce to you, especially down here in Texas, my favorite state, a brand new line of classy motorhomes, the Thor Coleman. The one that I'm in right now is the 22 CM. Now this comes in either Ford or Chevy chassis. Can easily sleep five, roughly 24 feet long, 12,500 pounds, and you're looking at starting at 83,995 or as low as $16.80 a day for you to be able to hit the open road, cruise down 35, hit Austin, go to Golfsmith, and then go pick up some of that Ironworks barbecue. Now you're talking my language. Right after the freaking Texas Longhorns game because they win. Look at that. Look at that, Kev. 95 graduate right there, baby. Yes. Absolutely love it. And I love these Thor motorhomes because what they've done with the Coleman line of motorhomes is they've combined some upgraded residential features and amenities with affordability. When it comes to Class C's, you really don't see that a lot. And we're going to have these all over the country. So if you're thinking, Chris, yes, I'm looking for a Class C that has a bunch of storage in it, you know, especially for me, the wife, the kids, or the family, or I need something for the, you know, for us to just pull down to the lake or go down to Corpus Christi and do some fishing, and we need something to stay in, then go ahead and text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below fresh because we got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming and a lot of them will be these beautiful Thor Coleman motorhomes. Look at the storage that we have here. Now this one over here, Kevin, I won't be able to open that, but this you can actually access from the other side. So if you got stuff in here that you need to access from behind the dinette, you can. Queen size bed, got windows for good cross flow of air, especially when you're out there. Imagine camping out outside of Houston. Going, maybe going down to see the NASA stadium or, or going down to see NASA and, you know, out there and you got that breeze coming in. Oh, man, I love it. TV mount is back here. You got your rear campsite shower, bathroom, the single surround. You got that porcelain bowl, stainless steel sink in there with the brushed nickel fixtures. Just good upgraded residential features. Maple glaze cabinetry. 
I got my large Dometic fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric with the wood paneling. Check out my campsite kitchen. My buddy Ian always says, these covers are great cutting boards. Just cut on this side so that you don't mess them up. Love that. Sprayer nozzle for my undermounted stainless steel sink. I got the extender if I need it. Large campsite window so if I do want to check out the kids, bam. I can check them out while they're playing wood valances that are decorative. Frosted glass inlays here. Just beautiful, functional, upgraded features. Luxurious that are also affordable. You're talking about a RV, a Class C. They can sleep five people. Only weighs 12,500 pounds, but you're sitting on that Ford E350 chassis that has the 7.3 liter V8 engine in it, 305 pound horsepower engine. Look at that beautiful dash. Nine inch touch screen. Got that molded holders right there for your cups, your cell phones, the comfortable captain's chairs. Up top is my bunk over cab, 54 by 96 inches too. 500 pound capacity on that. Large TV on the swivel, so if I want to watch some entertainment, no matter where I'm at in the RV, I can. Got my little cubby holder over there with my dual USB charging ports. And right here on my 76 inch Dream Dinette, this reduces down into a sleeper. Imagine pulling up to the Texas Longhorns game. They just got finished beating Oklahoma. Yes. And you come back and they're celebrating with the kids and you're having fun. You just got finished heating up maybe a whatever or making a hot sandwich on the oven. And then you sit down and you realize as you look out at that beautiful Texas skyline that you're making memories with the family. Eight years old, my dad took me on my first trip inside his Class C. I remember that to this day. It's, it's just those memories that you don't think will happen. But here I am almost 40 years later. And, and I remember it. Those are the things that having an RV and having that opportunity to do really affords you to do it. And we didn't get a chance to do it in 2020. That's why Thor got together with us and said, hey, we got a line of motorhomes that you guys are gonna love. It's gonna be the Coleman line and Coleman knows camping. They've been doing it for almost a hundred years. With everything from the 84 inch high ceilings to the 13.5 BTU air conditioners with quick cool, you're gonna get feature packed Class C motorhomes that are affordable easy to handle, and ready for you to go. Check out my hangout spot right here. This is where you would come, put the chairs out, put the rug out, put the grill out, do some cooking. Maybe you want to plug in a TV or charge your cell phone, get your power ports right there to do that. I got that molded Rotocast storage in there, which is easy to clean. Large awning with the LED light strip. Look at this, it's a Solera arm. But during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, I do not have the time to take you through all the features that I want to take you through, which is why we have specialists standing by right now to answer those questions for you. So if you want to know about the trailer hitch, about the 8,000 pound trailer hitch, some of the Class C motorhomes have 5,000, some of them have 8,000. Just like with the engines and the sizes, there are going to be so many options for you to choose from. All you got to do is text FRESH to 46642 or comment FRESH down below. They will walk you through which Class C motorhome is going to be right for you. But if you want one that's roughly 24 feet long, about 12 and a half thousand pounds, dry weight, can easily sleep five people, got a 4,000 watt generator on it, some good storage. I mean, look at that space in there. You can get golf bags in there, fishing clothes. I mean, got get my fishing poles in there, my tackle boxes, and you see that cut in groove right there? That is where you put the cooler. Because what's in the cooler? That shiner box. Yeah, you know, you know, it's Texas, baby. It's Texas. Got my LP connect right there, my power connect. Got my TV connection, my Santa flush. Down in Texas, you got to do as the Texans do, and it's brisket, it's beer, it's good times, it's fun. But more importantly than that, it's freedom. It's your chance to get out and see America the safest way possible, and you owe it to yourself. 2021 is going to be the year of travel. So let one of our specialists walk you through getting one of these Thor Coleman motorhomes. This one is the 22 CM. Now on the Ford chassis, it's the CMF. On the Chevy chassis would be the CMC. If you like this one and you say, Chris, I gotta have it, how do I get it? Starting at $83,995 or as low as $16.80 a day to get out and see America the safest way possible, done. Just text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below RV. Or call us, 877-297-8725. People are standing by to answer your questions and help you find the right one for you.
Now, if you say, Chris, I like the Coleman line of motorhomes, man. It looked like you got something going on there. I like that 7.3 liter V8 engine. I'm looking for something with 305 horses in it. Sounds like you got some passing power, but I don't want that 22 footer. I don't want that 24 footer. I want something a little bit bigger. I need bunks. Okay. We are introducing the Thor line of Coleman Motorhomes, and you have a lot to choose from. Just comment FRESH down below or text FRESH to 46642, and we will walk you through some of the great ones. Now, if you're sitting on a motorhome right now, or you're getting ready to buy one, don't sign. If you think you got a good deal, I'm going to beat it. Just give me a chance, because if I don't beat it, I'll give you a thousand bucks in cash. To get in on that, just text BEAT to 46642. Drop me a comment down below, BEAT. Ultimate RV Show National Tour is doing it Texas style. I'm going to go hit the taco truck while we get ready to show you another Thor Coleman motorhome coming up next. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. Introducing RV123 by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. You about to get a South Austin butt. Oh, hey Kev, what's happening? Uh, sorry, I was just taking a little bit of a nap back here in these brand new Thor Coleman Motorhomes. We are so proud to announce here in my beautiful state of Texas at the 2021 Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up, it's Chris Young. I am seated inside the 30CM on the queen bed here in the master of these brand new motorhomes that are packed with features and priced right to move. That is what we decided to do when we partnered with Thor to bring you the Coleman Motorhomes. We know the 2021 is going to be the year of RV travel. We want you to see America the safest way possible and feel the freedom of the open road and how great a Class C is. I get excited about Class C's because it's what I have. I absolutely love them. Now, back here in this master bedroom, you're going to see upgraded residential features like glazed maple cabinetry, mirrored wards. You got 12 volt and dual USB charging over here. So if you have a CPAP machine, you can use that easily. Full extension drawer guides on this too. And you say, Chris, you got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. This 30 CM is a great bunk model. Class C motorhome, you know, with extra storage, a little mini dinette for the kids to hang out here. I got my privacy curtains there. I got setups to put TVs both in the top and the bottom with USB plug-ins on both. But you know what? We don't really need a bunkhouse, but man, if you got a lot of Thor Class C's coming for Coleman, I'd like to know more. Well, absolutely. You can text FRESH to 46642 or drop us a comment down below, FRESH. Take a look at the counter space that we have here in the bathroom inside this 30CM. Residential style shower with the single surround, the large skylight in there. Plus, these have those 360 siphon vents that really allow the tanks to disperse the bad air so you don't have that bad smell inside your RVs. I'm a fan of that. Porcelain bowl, large mirrored medicine cabinet with storage in there. Stainless steel, got storage down beneath, solid doors, not only going into the bathroom, but giving me my separation of space going into the master. That's important. Now the bunks only have a little privacy curtain here, but I mean, you know, that's, that's fine for the kids. Plus it allows this unit to be a little bit less uh, heavy when you're talking about total weight. For example, this one's 14,500 pounds uh, gross. Can easily sleep eight, and right now during the Ultimate RV Show, starts at one o three nine ninety five, or as low as twenty dollars and eighty one cents a day. 
for 20 bucks a day, roughly 21 bucks a day, you can own your own Class C. Imagine driving down I-35 between Dallas and Austin. Maybe you come in from the stockyards and you're headed down to Austin because you gotta hit Ironworks. You gotta get some of that good barbecue and you know, you know where it's at. And then after that, you go cruise Rainy Street, sitting back on your Ford 450 chassis, 7.3 liter V8 Triton engine with that 468 pounds of torque. Arr, 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 arr. Everybody getting jealous because you got the Freedom Road and they don't have it. If you want this, this is your chance to get it. Just text RV to 46642, drop me a comment down below, RV, and we can have this delivered to you. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your home. 84 inch high ceilings, 13 5K BTU on this one. Beautiful L-shaped kitchen over here on the off-camp side with my pop-up charging station. Storage or spice rack right here. Flush mounted three burner cooktop with the oven and some additional storage down beneath. I mean, what they did with the Thor Coleman line of motorhomes was they gave you a bunch of upgraded residential features. For example, take a look at my leatherette jackknife sofa right here. 68 inches on that one. I got 71 inches on the Dream Dinette. Easily sleep. If you got kids, you could probably sleep too on there. Oh, Kev, look at my dash. Look, they got my old radio station I used to work for on right there. That's beautiful. I used to rock radio down here in Texas. I loved it. But you got that nine inch touch screen. Easy command center, good visibility, and driving class C's, uh, it's not as hard as you think. Uh, when I first drove one, I was terrified, but we had to drive one from Houston to Austin. Well, uh, this was years ago, and I, I gotta tell you, I was terrified. Never driven one before. It was fine, handled like a dream. Now, I didn't have that 7.3 liter V8 years ago. You know, it was much, <laughs> these engines now are much better. Got your cab over bunk up here, 54 by 96. Easily sleep two adults up here. Got the TV on the swivel arm that'll allow you to pull this out and see wherever you want to inside the coach. Large panoramic windows, large strut supported storage doors. Look, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, I'm not gonna get a chance to give you all the details that I wanna give you. But this one's starting at 103,995 or as low as $20.81 a day. You can't beat that, you gotta hop on it. 32 feet long, I got myself a 40 gallon fresh tank. Go ahead and drop RV down below or text RV to 46642. Check out my awning with the LED light strip. I got slide toppers, I got my external entertainment center right here. I got that molded rotocast storage in here which is easy to clean. So pretty much if you wanna throw your dirty stuff in there, maybe you just came back from Corpus or you've been down to Kingsport, you wanna spray all that black sand out there, just get your water hose and go. And these, uh, for 2021, they already had a lot of storage. You're talking about over 96 cubic feet of storage. They upgraded a lot of the storage areas to give you even more. But once again, I won't be able to go through all those features. We have specialists standing by right now who will help answer a lot of your questions about Class C's. Good grab and go storage right here. If you got your backpacks, your Kabu bags, your water bags, your hiking gear, you wanna put your tackle boxes in there because you're going offshore fishing down in the Gulf, good spot. Got me some more storage, which is also lit. My LP quick connect right there for my gas grill if I want to put in. I got the warm groove slides. I like those because those are sturdy. Got the sturdy ladder too. Backup camera on this one. Now with this one being the 30 cm, you're talking about 32 feet long, you also have electric stabilizer jacks on this, which is a very nice touch. More storage there. Santa flush. Here's my terminations which you can see gray tank, black tank. I like how you can secure those when you're not in use. External shower, it's my LP. Beautiful color scheme on these as well. And one of my favorite things about Class C's, my Onan 4000 watt generator, I love it. Having a generator, plus it runs quietly. You're able to run the AC. The AC is 13.5 uh, BTUs. Doesn't wake you up at night or doesn't rock like some Class C. ACs do, and I really like that. I got the mega mirrors right here. Under the hood is my 7.3 liter V8 Triton on this Ford 450 Super Duty chassis. Let me tell you, man, for the money, you can't beat it. During the Ultimate RV Show, we are giving you a great chance to pick up some Class C motorhomes. You're talking about starting at 103,995 or as low as $20.81 a day. For a chance to sleep eight people and go see America the safest way possible, 
I mean, imagine you and Matthew McConaughey cruising down to the Texas game and tailgating out there. You know you're going to smoke a better brisket than anybody else out there, but you need to floss and fly in style. The 2021 Thor Coleman Motorhomes is your way to do it. Longhorns, baby. You're looking at one. So text FRESH to 46642. Drop me a comment down below. FRESH to find one of your over 80,000 factory fresh RVs that are coming. If you want this 30CM, you say, Chris, I got to have it. How do I get it? Easy. Just text RV to 46642. Drop me a comment down below RV. Think you got a better deal on the Class C? Give me a chance to beat it because I will beat it or I will give you a thousand bucks in cash. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below BEAT. It's all about the Thor Coleman Motorhomes as we continue with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour in beautiful Tejas, baby. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. It's the Yellow Rose of Texas. Yes, it is. Actually, this is the Coleman Rose of Texas. Ultimate RV show standing in our brand new line of Thor Coleman Motorhomes. We decided, you know what? What better time than 2021 to bring you a feature-packed line of classy motorhomes that are affordable and ready for you to hit the open road. Enjoy seeing America the safest way possible. This is the 22 CMC. Now, the sister of this one is the CMF, which is F is on the Ford chassis. This one, the C, is on the Chevy Dually chassis. So if you're a Chevy fan, I got the one for you right here. 12,300 pounds dry weight, looking at a six liter V8 with 323 horses, 373 feet of torque, and they're rawr, 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 ready to roll and go hit Houston. Let's go see the Alamo. Let's go rock the river walk down in San Antonio. What do you say? What a beautiful way to get there than in your own Thor Coleman motorhome. Now, I have found that a lot of times, we usually used to put the kids up here in the, in the bunk over cab, but this being you know 54 by 96 inches, way more space. Why not have the kids back there in the 60 by 80, or you know however you want to do it, enough capacity up here for 500 pounds, plus you got the TV on the swivel arm, got the privacy curtain, great for the adults, great for the kids. You got the 76 inch Dream Dinette that does reduce down into a sleeper, and what is a Dream Dinette? That just means there's no legs underneath so that when you're in here meeting with the loved ones, you're not knocking your toes on bars. This pushes down, becomes a sleeper. You got large panoramic windows, glazed maple cabinetry that is strut supported. While you're up there, Kev, you'll notice we got the Coleman's Mac, the Mach 13 and a half. That's the 13.5 BTU air conditioner. You got 19,000 BTUs on the furnace. Frosted glass inlay, upgraded features. I mean, adjustable shelves. Check out my sink for when it's time to do some camp cooking and do some camp cleaning. I got the stainless steel with the sprayer nozzle right there. Absolutely love it. Got the extender if I need to get some more room. Flush mounted, three burner cooktop. And the great thing about Class C motorhomes is if you don't have a truck to tow anything, this is your way to get out and about. And this one starts at $80,995, or as low as $16.21 a day. Yes, for you to get out in America and see it the safest way possible in your own motorhome. 24 feet long, can sleep five people. I got my Dometic fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric right here. I got me my rear corner bath. Come on up in there, Kev, check it out. Got the porcelain bowl, the single surround shower. Stainless steel sink. I mean. 
With the Thor Coleman line of motorhomes, we wanted to bring you something that was feature packed with tons of amenities, tons of creature comforts that you wouldn't have to leave from home because we know there might be a lot of first timers out there that don't have a truck to tow anything and they're looking at the Class C motorhomes. So why not give you one that's upgraded features, 84 inch high ceilings. I mean, look, I got a queen size bed back here in its own slide. I got wardrobe storage right here, which is accessible from behind the Dream Dinette. Plus I got a big old storage shelf, dual USB charging ports. I mean, it's just, it really is the best way to get out and see America. And right now during the Ultimate RV Show, you can lock in your chance to get your Class C motorhome. Now, if you say, Chris, I like that 22 CMC. I want something on the dually chassis. How do I get it? Easy, just text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, RV. Um, if you take a look at my Chevy dash up here, you'll see, looks like a big old bourbon, don't it? Yep, used to drive them bourbons down to Corpus Christi to get your bourbons, didn't you? Or maybe you drove your bourbon down to Austin Hicks 6th Street back when Shakespeare's old Peanut Street Cafe was still open. Hopefully somebody out there remembered that because that was my spot when I went to UT. Love that space. but. Beautiful dashboard, nine inch touchscreen right there. I got the molded covers if I wanna use spot for my cell phone, if I want my cups. I got the comfortable plush cloth captain's chairs. And class C's are easier to drive than you think. I always tell people, when you come to Gander RV and Outdoors or you come to Camping World, you're gonna get a chance, you can take one for a test drive. Why not? I mean, with over 150 locations, you can find one close to you. Just come on out. Take one for a spin. You'll see how easy and how much fun they are to drive. Now, you got that molded Rotocast storage down there. Easy to clean, especially if you go down to the Gulf side of Texas. Maybe you want to go down to Kingsport or even to beautiful Corpus Christi or South Padre. You throw all your dirty stuff in there. Maybe it's sandy. To clean it out, just get the garden hose, spray it out. Large awning with the LED light strip here. Sealed safety windows all the way around. Got myself a little power port right here. If I want to plug in my boom box, listen to some of my favorite Austin bands, or maybe I want to listen to some Stevie Ray Vaughan. Oh man, he did Austin City Limits one time. Woo! Backup camera right there. A great feature on any RV is slide toppers because that helps keep the debris, the stuff that's going to really damage the slide from falling down and hitting it. It's also a sign of knowing that you got yourself a really good RV. Speaking of good, check out my storage space in there. It's lit, it's sectioned off, so if you want to put your grill, your cooler, your golf bags, whatever you want, you got the style and space to do it there. Now, during the Ultimate RV Show, we really don't have the time to go through all the features of all of these units, but we have people standing by who will answer the questions and help you out. All you got to do to get a hold of them is either do RV or Fresh comment down below or text RV or fresh to 46642. RV, if you love this 22 CM. Fresh, if you're looking for something different. Pretty simple. All right, right there is my 4,000 watt, my 4,000 watt Onan generator. Runs quiet, does a good job of powering this unit, which is another reason why I like Class C's because you could take the Class C wherever you wanna go and you can be self-contained. If you got the fresh tank filled, if you got the generator filled up, you can run it set it up, go for a couple of nights, give yourself that vacation weekend with your loved ones that you did not get a chance to do. And as we mentioned, this one has a sister. Now, this is the 22 CMC, which is on the Chevy Dually chassis. The 22 CMF is on the Ford chassis, but underneath the hood, you got that 6.0 liter V8, 323 horses with 373 foot of torque to give you rah, 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 running power going down I-35 between Dallas and Austin. Maybe you say, you know what? We're gonna take this bad boy to San Antonio and you're living in Tyler. You know that's a drive. You can't go anywhere in Texas without it taking at least six hours. We know that as a fact. Maybe you wanna go down to Louisiana. Maybe you wanna shoot up to Oklahoma. Don't know why, but maybe somebody lives there that you might know. As a Texas grad, as a Longhorn, I just don't even go into the state anymore. That's just my prerogative, maybe not yours. But if you say, Chris, I love this, how can I get something different? Just drop me a comment down below, Fresh, or text Fresh to 46642. If you love this one, this is the Thor Coleman 22 CMC, brand new for 2021, starting at $80,995, or as low as $16.21 a day.
for your chance to get out and see America the safest way possible. Just drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Now with the Ultimate RV Show, if you think you got a better deal going on somewhere else with a competitor, give me a chance to beat it. I'll beat it or I'll give you a thousand bucks in cash. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below BEAT. Brand spanking new this year, the Thor Coleman line of motorhomes. Thank you for joining me here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Can't wait for you to tell me about your adventures in these beautiful Class C's. This is Bryce, I'm Nellie, and we are the Journeys. We are full-time RVers with our two little girls. We have an almost three-year-old and a seven-month-old. We have done all 50 states in our RV. We moved from a Class A to a fifth wheel and we're going strong. We have partnered with Camping World, Good Sam, and Gander RV during this Ultimate RV Show National Tour to go to 10 different locations throughout the country, show you all that they have to offer, and actually hide geocache treasures throughout this tour. So make sure you follow along with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and join us as we go across the country on this tour. Yep, it, uh, as, as you're seeing this right now, it just went live on our Instagram, at the Jurgi. So make sure you're following us there to see this hidden treasure that we just did. And we have a giveaway, guys, that we're announcing right now, actually. This is for a $100 gift card to Camping World. And the winner is Daryl Decay. Yeah, I'm holding this over because I don't know if you can hear Nelly as clear, but um, yeah, as she's saying, to qualify and be eligible for these giveaways, text URVS to 46642, and then you're eligible for all the giveaways that are happening on this. What else are we giving away? We're giving away a uh, scooter today, right? Yeah, scooters. This weekend we're giving away an RV, and um, yeah, lots of giveaways on social media, so make sure you're following Camping World on Twitter, Good Sam, Gander RVs, and also, once again, Follow us at the Jurgies. We posted a treasure today. We're posting eight more. Just so make sure you're following because one of them is going to be for an RV. Speaking of RVs, we're going into another one right here. We got a Thor Coleman 22 EQF. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. We are so proud to be able to show you a brand new line of affordable, feature packed Class C motorhomes the Thor Coleman line of Class C's. What's up? It's Chris Young sitting inside the 22 EQF. This is a 24 foot classy motorhome that can easily sleep five. But with a little caveat, if it's just going to be you and the loved one, you and the loved one, maybe some dogs, great layout, slideless, lightweight, only 12,500 pounds gross. Plus you're sitting on that Ford E350 chassis with that 7.3 liter V8 engine in it. But if you are taking the kids, let me tell you what we did, my wife and I with the kids. So right back here, you have a 54 by 80 queen bed on the camp side. Beautiful glazed cabinetry, upgraded furnishings all the way around, dual USB charging ports, large windows with wood balances. I mean, these things are just feature packed and ready for you to go. And talking about affordable, this one starts at $79,995 or as low as $16.01 a day. And since we got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, which is mind boggling to me, you'll be able to choose a Thor Coleman motorhome that's right for you. Back to the bed, 54 by 80 right here on this bed. Kev, right behind us, is the bunk over cab. 500 pound capacity, got storage on the left, got a big TV screen on the right hand side. Plus, I got some cup holders in the back, and that one is 54 by 96. So, we used to make the kid sleep back here while we slept up there. It's a little more space, plus I had the TV and the privacy curtain, so I could watch my Texas Longhorns playing football while my kid was asleep back there. It's beautiful. Got the bathroom back here with the magnetic holder. 
Single surround shower here too. Check it out. With the skylight, I'm able to get a little additional headroom. Got some corner notches there. Brush nickel fixtures all the way around. The Thor Coleman line of motorhomes are feature packed. They have tons of amenities like stainless steel bowls, plastic, to or excuse me, porcelain foot flushes and porcelain toilets there. Medicine cabinets, solid wood doors. Fridges that have large space that run on both gas and electric, plus the wood paneling. Lots of storage. This is ward or pantry storage, however you want to use it, which is the great thing about an RV. Look at that solid wood, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Look at that solid wood construction. And a 76 inch dream dinette. So why is it a dream dinette? There's no legs underneath the table. So if you wanted to kick out and put your feet on the other side, you absolutely could. This reduces down into a sleeper. But what we've done with the Ultimate RV Show and partnering up with Thor on these Coleman line of motorhomes is introducing you an option, an option that's affordable but is also packed with features. So if you don't have a vehicle that can tow an RV, you can hit the road. Enjoy that freedom of the open road and see America the safest way possible. Imagine driving through downtown Austin. You're gonna go down 6th Street, not after 6 p.m., but you're gonna go down 6th Street in your beautiful, classy motorhome. You pull up to a campground, you got large panoramic windows, maybe you just got finished cooking a camp-cooked meal over here on the campsite kitchen with the stainless steel undermounted sink with the sprayer faucet right there, little energizer pack of batteries as well. I got my glass covered cooktop. Look at the grill style grate right here. Imagine cooking right on here, looking out the window at the kids playing or microwaving a meal right here. Frosted glass inlays. You enjoy the reconnection of the loved one right there in that 76 inch dream dinette. Now you're making the memories. And starting at $79,995 or as low as $16.01 a day, you could easily get by doing that because you owe it to yourself. You didn't get a chance to do what you wanted to do in 2020. So 2021 is gonna be the year of RV travel. Here in the cockpit, I got a nine inch touchscreen command center. I got my molded covers here for my cup holders, my cell phone holders, comfortable captain's chairs, and classy motorhomes, which is, which is what we have. They're easier to drive than you think. They have generators. They have 84 inch high ceilings, 13.5K BTU air conditioners, and they are packed with just storage out the wazoo. Now, this one, which is the 22 EQ, has, uh, I believe, roughly 54 cubic feet of storage on the outside. Beautiful laminated, lar look at the large awning that I have here with the LED light strip, sealed safety glass, got my LP connection right there. Check out my storage compartment. Part panel part rotocast. This is where you would put all the wet or the dirty stuff when you come back from Corpus Christi or maybe you're down in Kingsport, you know, Gulfport, wherever, and you're going to put all the dirty wet stuff right there. Then you can put your table up here. You got lights. You got the big old plastic clip. Yeah, 50.3, sorry, 50.3 cubic feet of storage in this one. Got my power port right here. So if I want to plug my boom box in, listen to all that music coming out of Austin, to me, come on, man, that's the heart of music right now. Whew. If you haven't been down, seeing some of those street performances right off of Rainy Street or down on 6th Street, you are missing out. But you're in Texas, you know what I'm talking about. Got the backup camera, got the ladder going all the way over the top, got my sewer hose storage, got my 8,000 pound hitch right there. My dumps, AKA my, my terminations, gray tank, black tank with the latch, which allows me some security. Got my 30 amp service right here. And an Onan 4,000 watt quiet generator on this. That's why I like Class C's, because they're versatile. You can dry dock in a Class C so much easier. Plus you get to get up and take it with you. So if you do not own a vehicle that can tow, having something like this is such a great option. Mega windows, plus we're sitting on that Ford 350 Super Duty chassis with the 7.3 liter V8 engine 305 horses on it, 468 pounds of torque. I love it, absolutely love it. You're gonna have the gear when you're going down 35 between Dallas and Austin to pass somebody, cause you know Ironworks is closing soon or the Texas game's about to start and them Longhorns are gonna beat them Oklahoma Sooners. Finally, Steve Sark is here, finally. Yes, my Longhorns know what I'm talking about. Hook them. Anyway, I'm embellishing because I love Texas. 
I also love my Thor Coleman motorhomes, but more than that, I love helping people learn and helping people see how great the RV lifestyle can be. There are so many features packed into these Thor Coleman motorhomes that I can't give you all the time that I would love to give you to go through each and every one, but we have people standing by right now who will walk you through the one that's right for you. Chris, that 22 EQF is great. We love the fact that it doesn't have a slide. It's really only us and two kids. We don't need a lot of space. We want something that's not 25 feet long. This is the one for you. Starting at $79,995 or as low as $16.01 a day, you can have it delivered to you without even leaving your couch. Just text RV to 46642, drop me a comment down below, RV. Now if you say, Chris, you got 80,000 factory fresh units coming, I know you're gonna have a lot of Thor Coleman Class C motorhomes. We will. I want another one. Okay, text FRESH to 46642, drop me a comment down below. FRESH, we have somebody standing by to walk you through, answer your questions, and find the one that's right for you. Ultimate RV Show National Tour, right now in beautiful Texas, we're talking about those Thor Coleman motorhomes, and I got more coming up next, so hang on. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. We finally get to come to the diesel one of the 2021 Thor Coleman line of Class C motorhomes. Sleeps five, roughly 25 feet long, 11,000 pounds, and has the Mercedes diesel chassis. What's up, it's Chris Young, Ultimate RV Show National Tour, standing inside the 24 EQ. Now, this is a Class C motorhome designed by Thor that we partnered with to come up with the Coleman line of Class C's. We did that because we knew that 2021 was gonna be the year of RV travel, and you needed something that was gonna be packed full of features, but also economical. You are looking at a diesel Class C, starting at $103,995, or as low as $20.81 a day. Back here in the back, we got a 60 by 82, 62 by 80, queen size bed, nestled in its own slide with dual USB charging ports, 12 volt and 110 power, plus I got wood balances. And what they did with the upgraded features, you got maple glaze cabinetry all the way around, residential fixtures and strut supporting. You are not gonna be missing out on any amenities with these Thor Coleman line of Class C motorhomes. I'm a huge fan of Class C's. I'm an even bigger fan of diesel. I don't have a diesel, I uh, would love to have one, because if, if you know engines, you know you can take a diesel and go, well, I mean, just about forever. You got the TV here in the bedroom, got the privacy curtain, you got the campsite bathroom that has the residential shower. Here, Kev, let me cut the light on for you there, buddy. Let me get in there real quick. There we go. Got the residential shower, single surround, got the large skylight in there, the stainless steel bowl. But let me tell you, since we're down here in Texas, you want to cruise to Corpus Christi in style, you can do it. This one has the 76 inch Dream Dinette. Now most of the Thor Coleman motorhomes have the 71 inch Dream Dinette, but this one got the 76 inch Dinette, it's got the residential style queen bed, and you got a bunk over cab over here that is 54 by 87. 500 pound capacity, easily get two adults up there. Got a little TV on a swivel so your entertainment can be whatever you want it to be. But picture yourself sitting down at Corpus Christi. You just come back from doing some great fishing or you know, maybe you went hiking or biking or whatever. You're down in Houston. You come back from a beautiful day at NASA and you're sitting out looking at the sunset, reconnecting with the loved ones and you're doing it in your home, your safety, your security because you didn't get a chance to do it last year. 2021 is gonna be the year of RV travel. And we are so excited about introducing to you this line of classy motorhomes by Thor, the Coleman's, that we just knew we needed to do something special. So the Ultimate RV Show gave us the perfect place to do it. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, if you don't like this, when you say, Chris, diesels are great, I don't need a diesel. Sure, starting at 103,995 or as low as $20.81 a day, that's a great price for a diesel Class C. 25 feet long, can sleep five? 
With a Sprinter diesel? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. That's awesome, but I need a Class C through its gas. Okay, great. We have those too. We got over 80,000 coming. So you're still going to get the frosted glass inlay. You're still going to get the residential style fridges with the fr fridge freezer combos that run on both gas and electric with that residential paneling there. You're still going to get the stainless steel undermounted sinks. These double as a cutting boards, like my brother Ian always says, use the bottom because you don't want to mess up the top. He's 175% right on that. Just look at all the features that we have here. And you can find the one that's right for you by texting FRESH to 46642 or dropping us a comment down below FRESH. Now with this one being the Mercedes chassis, you're gonna get the leather seat, the captain's chairs that also swivel. You're gonna get that 9.6 inch touchscreen, excuse me, nine inch touchscreen display up there. Look at that beautiful dash. I mean, it's, it's a Mercedes chassis. And it's a Mercedes diesel chassis. In a Class C motorhome, starting at 103995 or as low as $20.81 a day. Tell you what, you could cruise around North Dallas in that one and be happy about it. <laughs> did, I just, did I just do something with North Dallas? I sure did. Down here in Texas, you gotta talk about North Dallas. Do you remember in the 80s, the hair in North Dallas? Loved it, I miss it, I wish I could bring it back. You got the molded rotocast storage down here. Beautiful fiberglass with the painted graphics on here. The sealed safety glass going all the way around. You got the LP quick connect right there. So if you want to bring your grill with you, you can. And this one has 48 and a half square feet of storage space on the outside, which is a lot of area. Got the backup camera, the solid ladder. Here's some more of our storage back here. As you can see, we got a little spot back here. We got some there. Down here is my Onan 3600 LP generator. Yep, you got an LP generator right there. Runs quietly, does a great job at powering. Got my power plug right there. More storage down here. This is your grab and go spot. Backpacks, kabu bags, water bags, whatever you want. That's your area right there. You just have so many options. Thor did a good job with these Coleman class C's and I, I really get excited about class C's because if you don't have a vehicle to tow an RV with, this is your option for getting out and seeing America the safest way possible. And starting at 103,995 or as low as $20 and 81 cents a day, this is your chance to get out and see, see all of Texas. Did you get a chance to go down to Corpus Christi? Did you go to Schlitterbahn? Did you get a chance to go down to New Braunfels? You probably didn't. Have you hit some of the great, did you go to Franklin's and get you some barbecue? Yeah, you probably did that. But imagine pulling up in this and doing that. Did you go to Bubba's? You got so many great places here in Texas that you can go to. If you want to go to an Aggies game, I guess it's okay. If you want to go to the Longhorns game, boom, now you're talking. Me and Matthew McConaughey pulling up in the 2021 Thor Coleman 24 EQ. Sleeps five starting at 103,995 or as low as $20.81 a day. 25 feet long. 40 gallon fresh tank, 37 gray, 34 black tank, weighs in at 11,030 pounds dry. If this is the one for you, Chris, I've been waiting for a diesel class C, then drop me a comment down below, RV, or text RV to 46642. Now we have show specialists standing by right now who will walk you through this, answer all the questions that you need answered. If you have questions about the drive chain, if you have questions about the tires, whatever, they will help you with that. Or if you say, Chris, I like this one, but I want something different, that's when you text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, FRESH. We got show specialists standing by who will help you find the one that's right for you. But the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about showing you how great the RV lifestyle can be. What do you say we get one more Thor Coleman Motorhome coming up next? With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. You're about ready to see the first ever Ultimate Market Sweep from Camping World. And of course, we've got two incredible teams going toe to toe. Us, the Remingtons, taking on the Jergies. Now, a couple of simple rules will take place during this shopping spree. Two minutes are on the clock. 
everything that they can grab inside the retail store and fit in these baskets is going straight to you. Let's give it a shot. On my mark, on your marks. Get set! <laughs> And here they go. Where are we starting first? There they go. They're over there by Kyle Bush. Here we come on the inside looking for a generator. We've lost them. Here come the Remingtons. Following the Remingtons, they've grabbed their first one. It looks like there's a space heater. Oh, they're filling their basket awfully quick with the pizza oven. And two minutes is counting down. Here we go. They're starting to grab some tiki torches. I see a grill. There's a nice tent. Some beautiful chairs. And let's go see what the jerkies have. Yeah, Pots okay. and yeah, pans, yeah, kitchen yeah, essentials. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Okay, They're yeah. going smart. Take a look at the barbecue grill stuff happening right now. The Weber products are in the basket. Here come the jerkies on the inside, passing the camouflage, grabbing things as they go. It's almost like they've done this before. Their shopping cart starting to get full. I don't think the Remingtons know they can use underneath Here's what's happening. Strategy is the key, and they are using every inch of this basket. This is amazing. We are now at one minute. One minute. Oh, oh. I don't think we need one minute. We're going to have to get some towing gear. They crashed into the corner, but they're using the opportunity to get the Nerf guns for the kids. This is good stuff. Always get your repel. Here comes even more. They're getting smart now. Putting some of the stuff inside. There it goes. In the coolers and first aid kits as they continue around the corner. Grabbing more rain gear. Let's see what the Remingtons are doing. The Jurgies are looking good. The Remingtons now on the inside, they've got just about everything. Sleeping bags. Underneath, they've got tents. On the top, they filled it to the top. And it looks like they're just about done in five, four, three, two. And we have lost the Remingtons. There they go. The question is, how much money is in each cart? We're going to find out, and we'll get back to you in just a little bit. The first ever ultimate market sweep and what a competition that was us the remingtons us the jerkies live having a great time of the ultimate rv show national tour camping world is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials shop chairs and side tables starting at only 9.99 and patio lights starting at 10.99 grills for only 9.99 who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. We are back after the ultimate market sweep. Not one, but two big winners as far as quantity. The Jurgies unbelievably filled up this cart, and they got a lot of stuff. But quality Got to hand it to us, the Remingtons. Two big winners today. Actually, the ultimate winner is going to be you. Which cart would you rather have? Because we're going to let you choose. One winner gets to select on Twitter. Us, the Remingtons, the Jurgies, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young in my home state, my favorite state, Texas. Longhorns. Let's hook them, baby. UT grad right here, proud. And I'm even more proud that during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we are able to introduce to you a brand new line of Class C motorhomes that are feature packed and priced right for you to get out and see America the safest way possible. Imagine pulling up to Ironworks in downtown Austin in this beautiful Coleman Motor Coach, the Thor Coleman 27 cm. Now this one's 32 feet long, roughly 14,500 pounds gross, can easily sleep six people, 84 inch height, 13.5 BTU air conditioner, which I have rolling right now so you can hear. Still pretty quiet, right? Still pretty quiet. But amenities and features at the Wazoo, and we are super excited to partner with Thor on this line of Coleman RVs that you can find at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Now, we got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Now, if you say, Chris, 
Yes, I'm looking for a Class C. I'm glad you guys are bringing out a new one that have a bunch of different floor plans to choose from because me and the family, we're going to hit Corpus Christi this year. We're going to have some fun going driving down to Kingsport. Maybe we're going to scoot on over to NASA. Then we're going to go on around to San Antonio, check out the Alamo, walk the river walk, and just have some fun. Alamo, the Alamo, and have some fun. Just text FRESH to 46642. Drop me a comment down below, FRESH. Now, if you like the 27CM, you are looking for something that sits on that Ford 350 chassis, has that 7.3 liter Triton V8 engine in it. Woo, 350 horses, 305 horses, but 468 pounds of torque under the hood in this beauty. Enough power to get you around those beautiful lands in Texas. You got the nine inch touchscreen as your command panel up here. You got the molded holders right there for your cups. You got the comfortable captain's chairs. Class C's to me, this is what I grew up on because my dad, when we were kids, he had a little Scotty and we used to go everywhere on that thing. They're, they're easier to drive than you think, especially if you've never driven an RV. But if you don't have something to tow with, these are a fantastic option. Cause look, you got a 54 by 96 inch bed up here that is your bunk over cab. Now I have it down in the bed position. This obviously comes up and there's your you know cab space. But a 39 inch TV on the swivel arm, cup holders, skylight, wood balances, comfortable and plush 500 pound max capacity. The kids would have fun getting up on there. Now with this one, I mentioned you can sleep six. That's because we got a 71 inch dream dinette. When this reduces down, can easily sleep two people. We say one, but two could probably get in there. Jackknife sofa is just a little bit shorter at 68 inches, but leatherette, plush and comfortable. I got my cup holders back here. I got charge stations on my press solid surface countertop, large panoramic windows so that when I want to go down and check out the beautiful sands in the Gulf or I want to go and just look how at wherever spot into everything is beautiful in Texas. Everything's beautiful in Texas. Maybe Matthew McConaughey wants to pull up and hang out with us and he's going to do some grilling outside. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, we're going to have that right outside in your Thor Coleman 27 CM. Moving on through this coach, got a beautiful designed residential style kitchen with the backsplash, maple glaze cabinetry with frosted glass inlays. Look at this with adjustable shelves. I am such a fan of the Thor Coleman line of motorhomes because they took functionality and ease of use and combined it with upgraded features and affordability. This is something that you don't find. This one starts at $97,995 or as low as $19.59 a day. Yep, for less than $20 a day. Where can you go in Texas and stay for $20 a day. You got the residential paneling here on the fridge freezer combo, the Dometic that runs on both gas and electric. Got my space up there. My pullout drawers and my additional storage here. Check that out. Maximizing the space without giving you something that's gonna be too big and clunky. And a king size bed in the master. Ward space, mirrored wards all around, dual USB charging ports all over the place. I mean, this folds up when the slide comes in, but look how thick and comfortable that mattress is. My bathroom, right there. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush, single surround shower, got the stainless steel bowl in there as well with the faucet. I mean, Class C's have become so popular over the last few years because of the versatility, the size, and the fact that it really does allow you to get the best of the open road. You get to feel the freedom of driving your own RV. Now, when we come outside, the Coleman 27CM, brand new for 2021, take a look at the Coleman graphics and Coleman nose camping. They've been doing it for almost 100 years now. So you're gonna get that same quality and service here in these Thor Coleman motorhomes that you've always expected from Coleman. We got the Rotocast storage, which is that molded interior that's easy to clean. Plus you got the lights there, the fiberglass, Got my LP there. Got the outside entertainment under the big 20 foot awning with the LED light strip. Talk about just being able to enjoy each other's company. The whole nine, got more storage here. Got my LP quick connect there. But look, with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, I'm not gonna be able to show you everything that I wanna show you. For example, like this one has an 8,000 pound hitch. Some of the Class C's have a 5,000 pound hitch. We have some that are gas, some that are diesel. Just know that right now we are launching brand spanking new, the 2021 
Thor Coleman line of motorhomes. We can't be more excited about it. If you've been looking for a Class C and you have questions, you say, Chris, does it have a backup monitor? Yep, it sure does right there. You got your hitch, you got slides, you got storage. Say, Chris, how convenient is it to get stuff in and out of that storage? Oh, it is so convenient. Look, you even have the little slide right there that you can pass through. But we have people standing by who will help answer those questions for you. All you have to do to get a hold of them is text FRESH to 46642 or drop a comment down below, FRESH. Now, if you say, I love the sealed safety windows all the way around this. I love the fact that it has the Onan generator in there for me. I like the 450 chassis with the 7.3 liter V8, 305 horses, 468 pounds of torque. Man, got that fiberglass molded, end cap, beautiful. How do I get this one delivered to me as quickly as humanly possible? Easy, just text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, RV. You want the mega windows, you want the mega storage, you want the mega RV? You gotta get to Thor Coleman's, man. They are going to fly off the shelves and 2021 is gonna be the year of RV camping. Hit the open road the best way possible. Imagine pulling up to Corpus Christi in this bad boy. I can't wait. I'm gonna get the keys and I'm gonna get me one. So get yours before I get mine. Text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, RV. This is the Thor Coleman 27CM starting at $97,995 or as low as $19.59 a day. It's got a lit electric stabilizer jacks, 32 feet long, 40 gallon fresh tank, 37 gray, 44 black. Dry weight is roughly 14,500 pounds, can easily sleep six, and this one is ready for you. This segment is all about the brand new 2021 Thor Coleman line of motorhomes with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour in beautiful Texas, and I can't wait to go get me some brisket. Let's keep going with these Thor motorhomes. Sean Parr, Caleb Remington, and how about this? I love the new Coleman uh, motorhomes. These are absolutely beautiful, and I love the way that Chris uh, Young gets so excited when he starts talking about a new unit like this, and he just dials it right in. It does, yeah. We're actually in a very similar, same unit, actually, same floor plan, different model, but we love it. It's we so started awesome. this next segment, Caleb. Yep. Uh, by the way, Caleb Remington, Sean Parr, so glad to be here with you on the national tour as the Ultimate RV Show continues. We started this next segment uh, a couple of weeks ago because you asked for it. Are you ready to do this? I'm so ready for this face-off. Oh, the RV face-off. Now, the interesting thing about it is we're taking the Ozark and we're going to go up against the Silver Lake, and they're going to go wheel to wheel with this competition. <laughs> wheel to wheel. We just went wheel to wheel with the jerkies, and now we're going to do it on these RVs. By the way, great job <laughs> on the ultimate market sweep right there. All right, so this is the RV face-off. It's because you asked for it. The Ozark, take it on the Silver Lake. Take it away. Let's see what we got. I'm excited about this one right here, folks. Now, now listen. I may not have the dance moves of John Travolta or the acting talent of Nick Cage. However, today we have ourselves a good old fashioned face off. That's right. We are looking at the Forest River Ozark versus the East to West Silver Lake. And I am amped. These are two amazing brands. And as we can take a step inside here, we'll take a look. So the nice thing about Ozark, right, is you're looking at some smaller, lightweight travel trailers for the most part. The reason I love this is for people that are just getting into RVing, this is a great line. They have a lot of versatility. They have couples models like we're in right now. We'll have bunk models. They have toy haulers, whether you're you know, hauling a golf cart or if you have a quad or you have motorcycles, right? The line has a lot of options and most of them are very lightweight. So, you know, some of these, like, like this one here, we can tow with a mid-size SUV, you know, up to a little bit larger. So you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a bigger truck, which I absolutely love. And it's a fantastic price point. So again, you're looking to get into RVing. It's something that's brand new to you. You know, just kind of want to dip your toe in. The Ozark is a great starting point, a great line, and they have some amazing floor plans as well. And take a look up front, you know, and, and some of the ingenuity they put into this as well, even though it's a lower priced camper, doesn't mean that, you know, they don't put in some R&D. They did some really cool things like this. I love this in this floor plan. They give you a space underneath that bed. So if you want to put your shoes in there, your slippers, if you have a laundry basket, you can slide it in right there. And look at this. They utilize your storage space. You get access to all that storage outside. So you have several different access points for the bed. 
We know that the RV industry knows a lot of people like myself sleep with a CPAP machine. And so when I go camping, I want to take it with me. I want to feel refreshed. I don't want to feel tired from waking up all, you know, all night and not knowing it. So I take my CPAP machine with me and this one has electrical outlets. So that way I'm able to plug that in and get a good night's sleep. Let's whip it around for them real quick. Show them what we have in the rest of the floor plan. So if you take a look in this particular one, they give you a, uh, a campsite dinette, which I always love when manufacturers do this, especially in a smaller floor plan. I love the fabric choice. If you take a look, you can see they use like a blue stitching. So again, even though it is a, you know, an entry level camper, it doesn't mean that they are t totally skimping on things. I mean, this is a nice leatherette material, cleans up very easy. You can see that you can unzip it if you need to wash it, right? So you can take it out of there. And the, the fact they have a different colored stitching, a two-tone, you know, costs a little bit more money, but that's okay because, you know, it's just one of those things they're making sure that you're getting quality product. This does drop down into a bed in the floor plan here as well. You know what else is really cool is with this unit, a lot of times in something this size, they would put in a side mount, right? A walled AC unit. But here you go. You have a roof mount unit, 13,500 BTU. And folks, that thing will cool this RV down in a hurry. The countertops are nice as well. You have some upgraded countertops over T-mold, right? So you don't have to worry about any T-mold or anything popping off. They're also a little bit thinner than your standard countertop, which again helps with weight. They're trying to make sure you can tow it with that everyday driver. Big sink in this particular floor plan. You have the high-rise faucet, more outlets here, both USB and electrical outlets. The fridge-freezer combo. We'll open that guy up. Uh, I, it's a Norcold, a great unit. You can adjust the thermostat right here. It's very easy to get to. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. And when we go into the bathroom here, take a look at this. This particular unit is a rear bath. And the great thing about a rear bath is you have a lot of space. So, you know, we have a big shower. I mean, you know, I'm going to stand up in here just to show you because this is one of those things that often doesn't happen when you're talking about lightweight units. At six foot, a lot of times, if I'm looking at something that's under 3,500 pounds, I can't stand all the way up. And in this unit, I can. So, you know, that's that's one of those things, that one of those benefits of the Ozark, right? It has a little bit more height. You're not going to have to curl down if you are, um, you know, taking a shower in there. So, uh, just a ton of amenities here on the inside. And the door, as we take a, take a look outside, again, some features here. You have a friction hinge door. So what that means is kind of wherever you put it, right? You can just kind of set it and it stays there. So I love that fact. The stairs are upgraded aluminum steps with the rubber on there. It gives you a little extra traction. So it makes it easier, right, to step up in there. And the aluminum, folks, that doesn't rust, which is awesome. You get the bigger grab handle on there. Solar prep is a huge feature. And take a look at this front end. So one of the things I love about the Ozark, you have the rolled aluminum sides, but they give you the smooth aluminum front. And this right here is phenomenal. Not only does it look great, you know, it helps with the graphics in here as well, but it's easy to clean. And that's a big one for me, right? When all those bug splatters are on there, I want to make sure this unit is easy to clean. Right down below is your diamond plate. So that's going to help protect that front end from any rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And so another cool thing, right? So we see this and you see, you're looking at it and you're like, hey, I love the, the front uh, the front end, the smooth fiberglass. I'm not a big fan of the rolled fiberglass, right? Like maybe I want smooth sidewalls. Here's what I love about the Ozark. If we flip it around, we can take a look at the Ascent package. And with that, you get fiberglass walls. So with the Ozark, you can get the same floor plan. It doesn't matter if it's the aluminum or the fiberglass walls. You can get that upgraded package and move into the fiberglass. Get those smooth walls. And again, you, you get the, the aluminum steps here. We have the larger grab handle. When we walk inside this beautiful floor plan, you start to see things are a little bit different than what we had before. I talked about versatility in the Ozarks, right? And this is where you really start to see it. So the bed is twisted a little bit. You know, we kind of have more of a, uh, a corner style bed. You get the storage up top and the, uh, the wardrobe space over here. But here's the big thing. Why don't you step forward, turn around for everyone, folks. I, I wanna show you something. Look at how much space you have in this layout. You saw the bed, you get a dinette, you have double over double bunks, you get the full kitchen, bathroom in the corner. And my favorite part about this is this unit is under 3,500 pounds dry. 
Folks, that means if you have a mid-size SUV, like uh, I have a, a Kia Sorento, and you know that has, if you uh, equip it right, you know, get the tow package, which mine has, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. That means I can easily tow this and all the gear I need to put in it, and I don't have to go out and buy a bigger truck. And if you're starting to get into RVing, that is why I love the Ozark, because it's a, a lower barrier to entry, right? I know a lot of people, uh, especially now, you know, with, with what we had in 2020, people are looking for a safer way to, to kind of enjoy each other, enjoy family, go on vacation, and RVing is an excellent way to do it. But a lot of people don't want to go out and buy a truck, and something like this allows you to get out there and start making those memories. And if you have kids, folks, I am telling you, I, I, have, I don't have a ton of memories from childhood, but one of them that I absolutely have is going camping. And anyone you talk to, anyone that's had camping experience, anyone that camped as a kid, I guarantee they can tell you all about the camping adventures they had and how much they loved it when they were young. And this gives you the ability to do that with your family. You get the big bunks, the Teddy Bear Bunk Series. This one has a ton of storage underneath, if you can see that. Beautiful flooring, you kind of have like a herringbone pattern all throughout here. That same fabric we saw before, you know, the, the table is the same upgraded material that you have over here in the countertop. And again, you get the big basin, the big sink basin with that high-rise faucet, two burner cooktop, direct vent furnace, that's a big one. You know, if you plan on doing any cold weather camping, you need to make sure things are going to stay nice and warm and that right there will do it especially a smaller camper like this that direct vent will actually heat it up faster than a ducted vent a ducted one because it's all just blowing right into the main space of this camper you know you don't have a bunch of separate rooms so that direct vent does an awesome job and you know if we take a look at the bathroom again corner bath but you can see how much space you have you know what i'm going to step back in the shower again i just want to show you guys six foot tall I can stand in the shower in here, right? And so if that's one of those things, if you've been looking at some, some smaller, lightweight campers, one of the things that have been turning you off is the fact that, you know, you don't want to have to duck in the shower. You want that little bit extra ceiling height, right? You're a little bit taller. I can, at six foot, I can clear the AC unit. You know, I don't have to duck down. Then the Ozark is an excellent line to start with. And as I said, you know, if we're talking about, uh, you know, families and building memories, this unit right here knocks it out of the park. And with that ascent package, if we take a look, you know, we'll kind of, kind of walk back a little bit. Again, you can see the beautiful fiberglass sides that we have on here, electrical outlet, power awning. That's a big one. Touch a button, that thing just rolls right out, has an LED light strip that sets up your camp space right there. You know, that, that, that is a big one because, um, you know, if, if you've gone camping before in the past and you had a manual awning, right, it's a two-person job. This is an entry level camper and you're getting great amenities like a power awning where you can just touch a button and that thing just rolls right out. Super simple and easy to set up. And if you wanna set up some party lights, if you have flamingos, if you have pineapples, we offer them in our store, they're fun. You can absolutely hang them, but you also have a light. You can just flip a switch and you're good to go. A spare tire comes with it as well. And that's one of those things that, you know, if, uh, if hopefully you never have to use it, right? I always tell people that. Hopefully you never have to use a spare tire, but having it right back here makes it super simple and easy to get to. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or in the mud. Outside showers, a big one too, especially if you have dogs. You know, you wanna be able to wash them off, dry them off before they go in the camper. That right there gives you the ability to do it. And I know another big one is right there, backup camera prep. A lot of people, especially if you're new to RVing, right? Uh, you know, getting into, the, getting into the campsite, backing in sometimes can be a little tricky. That backup camera helps immensely because you're able to see what's behind you. You can see your spotter. I love my wife to death and I say this all the time, but when, when she's spotting, right? I swear, this is what she does. Like I'm on, on you know, either side looking in my mirrors and I'm like, honey, I, I can't see you. Like, where are you? What are you doing? But right here with that backup camera, it makes it a lot easier. So, uh, you know, no matter where they're at, you can either see in a mirror, see in that backup camera, it really just helps back it up. So that's the Ozark, right? A lot of big, a lot of things to love about the Ozark. Absolutely fantastic line. But as you know, this is a face-off, which means we have to go head to head against another line. So what line is that? That is the East to West Silver Lake. Another Forest River brand, uh, to my knowledge, it is the newest Forest River brand, and they have some big features in here as well. So let's take a step inside. I wanna show you some of the inside features first. This unit we're gonna look at is the 20 KRD. Now, the thing I love about this one is it's a little bit longer, right? You know, you're a little bit over 30 foot, um, but it doesn't have any slides. A lot of times I get people that are new to RVing that are afraid of slides. And, and I, I 
Personally, I don't think you should be. Uh, if you take a look at the lots, the vast, vast majority of RVs have slides. But maybe your campsite doesn't allow for it. Um, you know, maybe you, know, you, you want to do a lot of camping in state parks or national parks where they're a lot tighter and there's a lot of trees, and you just you know, don't want that extra slide. Then something like this is absolutely perfect. And we'll take a look in the back, and the reason I love this particular floor plan so much but first, a few things about the Silver Lake in general. One of the big ones is this right here. Folks, I'm telling you, this is a king size bed, right? This is you know, the same size uh, bed that I have at home. You wanna talk about camping and comfort. This allows you to do it. You can have two people here. You're absolutely good. You know, you're not gonna elbow each other in the middle of the night. And if you see, I'll kind of get up, but there's cubby holes right in the back. Right, and that is built, just like talked about a little bit in the Ozark, that is built for the CPAP machine. So you can put those back there and they're tucked away. You have wardrobes on both sides, storage all the way across the top. And as we spin it around, let me show you the kitchen in here, right? Because, you know, they, they really kind of step things up uh, another level. So you'll see here the countertop's a little bit thicker. This is a special type of countertop, uh, goes by several different names, you know, it can be, um, uh, thermoformed or, or it goes by a couple other names so basically what it is is they heat treat this top layer to wood and when they do that it eliminates the t-mold so you don't have to worry about anything coming off here the big advantage of that one it looks a lot nicer two water is not going to get down in there right that's one of the big problems with t-mold is water starts to seep into the countertop and starts to rot it away you don't have to worry about that here to the point that you can undermount a sink you can't undermount if you have you know laminate t-mold countertops you can't do it because water will get in there and again it'll start rotting it out but not the case here beautiful undermount nicer presentation if you get sink top covers right it kind of uh, becomes like a flush surface so you get more prep space the deep stainless steel sink you know we, we saw in, in the ozark we had a composite you move into the silver lake now we're into stainless steel very modern cuts a deep bowl an upgraded faucet right you get a lot more modern faucet here move on our way down you get a full three burner cooktop versus a two and so you know if you plan on doing more cooking the kitchen in here will definitely serve you a little bit better. Plenty of storage, right? They always make sure there's drawers because, uh, to be honest, folks, if you don't have drawers in a kitchen, the kitchen's just not going to work. But you definitely have drawer space, cabinets all up top here. And when you take a look at the furniture itself, I like the color scheme that they went with, right? It's a nice like soft, neutral brown. And, and for me, that's good because that means you get to add your own colors. You know, if you wanna throw some pops of color in here, you absolutely can. But even if you do nothing, it's still a, a beautiful look. I think they just chose wonderful colors and they broke it up just enough with it having it a little bit lighter here than the rest. And once again, this cleans up very, very easily. You have the nice, tabletop right here with dual pedestal legs so that way it's sturdy electrical outlet underneath the spot to put a tv if you want a tv you can have it right there and this jackknife sofa that i'm sitting in is extremely comfortable you can see how i just sink into it same thing if i lean back very comfortable they they use excellent uh you know upgraded plush furniture in here if we take a look underneath if you're new to RVing, one of the great things about a jackknife sofa is all the storage you get underneath. And it is big storage, it's long storage. And so they, they use a lot of these things as standards. You know, you have that king size bed standard. You get this beautiful, comfortable jackknife sofa as a standard. You'll see more storage up top here. And this one, right, this is a little bit different refrigerator. We're looking at a propane and electric. So with this one, if you don't have any kind of shore power and you don't wanna worry about, you know, solar or anything like that, you can run this off propane, right? The same thing you're heating your coach with, the same thing that you're using uh, on your cooktop, you can use that propane to cool down your food to run this fridge as well. Uh, so, you know, again, there's definitely a ton of things to love inside the, the East to West Silver Lake, but let's take a look at the outside, right? Let's, let's head on out here and take a look at what we have. So as we, as we walk around the front, right, I want to show you a few things. One of them is this. So take a look at this. You want to talk about beautiful pass-through and attention to detail. When we look at travel trailers, most travel trailers don't completely finish off the pass-through, but Silver Lake did. They went that extra step to give you that nicer looking as well as more functional 
pass-through storage. You don't have to worry about the rafters in there, right? You're not gonna pull anything out and start hitting stuff on them. New for 2021 is this right here. They went to upgraded steps. You have the Moride Step Above Step System, which is an amazing step system. Again, aluminum treads, they're not gonna rust. But here's the big thing I love, folks. I am over 210 pounds. Watch this, ready? I can dance up this thing. Woo! Start doing my John Travolta. Uh, uh. All right, I know, it's not as good. I tried, I tried. But as you can see, I can, I can jump on these steps and they're not gonna flex. They are very sturdy. You get the big grab handle right here so that you have that control when entering or exiting the RV. You know, if it's a grab handle right here, it doesn't help you when you exit. But with this one, take a look at this, right? You're coming down the steps. I have this right here. I have full control coming all the way down. I mean, full control, right? Moving over here, you have hookup for an outside TV. So if you want a TV out here, you can have that. Again, big power awning. Some of the things you can't see. Underneath, we have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly with a 35,000 BTU furnace. Folks, that's a that's the same size furnace as you will see in you know some of your 40 foot fifth wheels. I mean that thing can heat up some space, and with that fully enclosed underbelly, that heat will blow down in there, and it will help prevent your tanks and lines from freezing up on you. So that way you can camp later into the season. But you know what? There's versatility in floor plans here too. Let's check out the uh, 31K3S right back here, real quick before we go inside. I want to show you right. We talk about versatility and floor plans, magnetic catches, by the way. Look at that, you get the outside kitchen and this one has a griddle. If you've seen my videos, you know how much I love a griddle because you can cook darn near anything on there, I swear. And my favorite, right, I call this dad's fridge. Uh, you know, I might put something in there for the kids, but I'm selfish when it comes to the outside fridge. But let's head right inside because again, we will see some of these amazing features that we saw before, right? We see the upgraded countertops. You can see that undermount sink. Taking a look over here, you can see that same style sofa, that beautiful plush jackknife sofa. All the storage that you have underneath that jackknife. Big dinette, this is something else I wanna point out. Not all dinette sizes are the same. East to West does a great job of making sure you have a big dinette, a lot of space here. I can easily sit another person here, no problem. We're not tight, we're not gonna be bumping elbows. If we're playing a game, if we're eating a meal, we're very comfortable here in this table. Another big one that I love that they added for 2021 is right behind the sink. You see the size of that window? Now it needs to be washed, it looks a little dirty, but this is something else they added that I love. And in most floor plans where they're able, they put in this window, which gives you a view out to your campsite, no matter what the floor plan layout is, and it lets in a lot of natural light. Really helps, you know, take the already kind of bright interior and brighten it up even more. And in most floor plans where they have a slide, they put in a fireplace. Now, if you're new to RVing, you know, because I've had a lot of people that say, Ian, why would I ever need a fireplace in an RV that's overkill? But here's the thing, folks, not only does this look great when you turn it on, but more importantly, if you have shore power, you're plugged in, right? Because it runs off 120, you can't run it off 12 volt batteries, but if you have shore power or a generator, that is free heat. And what I mean by that is when you go camping, most of the time you don't have to pay for electric, right? So you plug it in, you use that to heat up your RV because it is a big space heater and that acts as free heat. Now, we have the bathroom right here, but what I wanna show you more importantly is in the back because this is what I, another thing I love about east to west is the variety of floor plans. Look at this, you have two slides in here. Folks, this is like a kid's dream come true. You wanna talk about a great camping experience? They have a mansion back here. I mean, you can, you can do jumping jacks, you can do push-ups, you know, they can run in circles if they want. You have four beds, right? They call it quad bunks in the industry, right? So you have four different beds in here. You have clothes storage. Something that's very rare when you're talking about bunk models is having a lot of clothes storage. You have a wardrobe there and a wardrobe here. If you hook up a TV, maybe you wanna bring a gaming station for the kids on a rainy day, Shut that a little loud, sorry. Uh, you can see you can hook that up right there and everyone, no matter where they're sitting, is able to watch the TV. So they're not fighting over who gets the TV, right? And again, beautiful wallboard. Look what they've done to trim it out. A lot of manufacturers, when you're looking at the door jams, it'll just be like a piece of uh, plastic that they set over it. You get actual trim work for the doors. So that way the doors open and close the way that they should. Plus it just looks a whole lot nicer. It looks a lot more residential, which 
is one of the things I love so much about East to West in their design and the things that they bring into it is that they tried to make it as residential uh, in both appearance and function as possible. And I think they did a great job. And before we head out, I just wanna show you this one more time. Let's take a look right up here. You know what, I'll switch spaces with you. Get up in there. What I wanna show you guys is that just like we saw before, one of the standards you have in the east to west is a big king size bed. You have storage all the way around, but that big king bed in there, so you're not, you know, again, hitting each other in the middle of the night, you have more than enough room to do what you need to do. Now, as we come around to the outside, there is a few other things that I wanna make sure we hit on. A couple big ones. One is a power tongue jack. This really makes it so much easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Because with this, folks, all you have to do is flip the rocker switch, and just like that, the tongue will raise or lower. No longer do you have to sit here and wear down your elbow, right? You know, doing all this work, this circular motion, all of a sudden your elbow starts to hurt, you cramp up, nobody wants that. Why do all that when you can do this right here? You know what I mean? You get a light up there if you're connecting or disconnecting at night, you get dual 20 pound propane tanks. We talked about it, right? That fridge can run off propane too if you want it to. So we get uh, two 20 pound tanks on there. The front end is that nice smooth aluminum as well, which I absolutely love, the diamond plating. The frame is, uh, is not only extra reinforced, you can see how thick that frame is, but also it has a, uh, a powder coating on there to help prevent it from rusting. And also with that, let me show you something else. Come on, we're gonna, we're gonna drop down. Come on over to this side a second. Drop down with me here, and I wanna show you something. That's this right here, right? We're looking at huck bolts. And you might say, Ian, what is huck bolts? What's the advantage there, right? So this is a BAL frame, which uh, is a little bit more expensive than your standard frame. Now, the reason that huck bolts are advantageous is for a couple different reasons. Basically what they do is instead of welding the frame, right? They use those huck bolts to connect it. So if you ever have any kind of damage, right? You back into a big stump, you accidentally hit something, someone hits you, the frame is a lot easier to repair. Think about a car that's welded and when you get into an accident, it bends the frame, it's very expensive. Here, you can remove those bolts, well, cut those bolts, remove sections, reapply new sections, and it's cheaper. Also, it's been shown that the majority of rust on a frame starts at the weld point, so by eliminating those weld points, you help to hopefully reduce the chance of rust beginning there. So, in conclusion, one of the things I always like to do, right, and I always tell people this, when, when you're looking at anything, when you're looking at a travel trailer, a fifth wheel, a class C, a class A, write down the pros and cons, right? See what you like, see what you don't like, because no matter what, there's, there's pros to a lot of things in the RV industry, there's gonna be some cons in some as well. So let's start with the Silver Lake. What are the big pros for me? One, you get a king size bed standard. Not only is that great functionally, but it's also something we very rarely see in a travel trailer. Some fifth wheels will have it, but to have that in a travel trailer, again, is something that is fairly rare. Second, the heated and enclosed underbelly with a 35,000 BTU furnace. The underbelly will A, give you more camping uh, season, right? It'll help extend it because you can camp in colder temps. More importantly, that 35,000 BTU furnace will make sure you stay toasty both inside and your underbelly as well. The third is the fact you get high-end amenities for affordable prices. This thing has the king size bed. You get the upgraded countertops, the nicer faucet, the big furnace, you know, the upgraded frame. You get all these features and it's not going to break the bank. But like anything, there's cons as well. So what's the cons to a Silver Lake? What may keep you away? Well, the biggest one for me is that there's only one floor plan under 5,000 pounds. So what that means is if you want to tow with your daily driver, if you have an SUV, uh, the Silver Lake may not be for you because chances are you're not going to be able to tow it. You're just not going to have the capacity to do it. So what about the Ozarks, right? We, we covered the Silver Lakes. There's a lot of great things to love. We have some cons there as well. And what was the big con? The fact that, you know, there's just, they're, most of them are pretty heavy. Well, here's the thing, that's the exact opposite when we talk about the Ozark. And this is one of the things that I love. It's an entry level camper and they put it at exactly the way it needs to be. All but one floor plan for the Ozark is under 5,000 pounds dry. So what that means is most of these you can tow with a midsize SUV. Some of the larger ones, a large SUV. So think, you know, if you have like a, uh, like I said, a Kia Sorento, like I have, it'll tow both of these floor plans we saw. You move up a little bit, no problem. You can move up to something like a Tahoe, right? Still a great family vehicle and still be able to haul these. 
Also, you get multiple floor plan options. They have couples models, they have bunk models, they have toy haulers, they have a ton of different things to meet every different lifestyle depending on what you want. And my third big pro is the fact it offers the Ascent package to upgrade to fiberglass. Not a lot of manufacturers will do that where you get an option of both, but on the Ozark, you can do the rolled aluminum or you can do the fiberglass. Either way, you're good to go. The big con for me is the fact that the non-toy hauler models are all 23 foot or less. They have to be lightweight. In order to be lightweight, they have to be smaller. So if you're looking for something that has a big bunkhouse in the back, the Ozark's not gonna be the one. But folks, that wraps up the face-off. I know that my dance skills were amazing. Maybe they can beat John Travolta. My acting skills still need some work. But again, I hope you enjoyed it. This has been the Forest River Ozark versus the Forest River East to West Silver Lake. Hi, we're Tiffany and Caleb from Us the Remingtons. We are our traveling family of three and soon to be four. We absolutely love this lifestyle of hiking, fishing, kayaking, adventuring. We've lived in an RV for two and a half years. We first traveled in a class A motorhome, 36 foot, so spacious, we loved it. And now we have the opportunity to travel in something a little smaller, a little bit more mobile. We are going from East Coast to West Coast in a brand new 2021 Thor Freedom Elite. And we're so fortunate to partner with Camping World, Gander RV, and Good Sam on this awesome road trip across America. We're excited to take you on the adventure. Hey everyone, I'm Ian Baker and I am joined today by my good friends Caleb and Tiffany from Us The Remingtons. And today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, kind of one of the businesses of Good Sam. A lot of people know of the campground uh, discount, they know of the merchandise discount in the store, but there's a lot more to it. And one of those things is tire and wheel protection. And I don't know about you guys, but you know, I'm from Michigan and the roads are not gentle. They are not <laughs> kind. I mean, you know, you guys have done some traveling. How, what have your experiences been? I mean, we're from Chicago, so we're pothole century. Yeah, so yeah. we know, we yeah. know the rugged life yeah, of yes, Michigan, yes. Michiganers. But um, yeah, I think Caleb does, I'm not gonna lie here. Caleb does most of the driving. All okay. Of the driving. <laughs> we'll say 99.9 percent. It's true. She didn't drive around the campsite once. I think. Yeah. There, there you go. That's, that's a mile. That's, that's a huge. No. Yeah. The the tire protection obviously is is crucial. You don't really think about it when you first get an RV, but mm -hmm. you know as soon as you start driving on the road and you might see tire chunks here and there, you automatically think like, shoot, what happens if we blow a tire? And yes. so having that protection, having that safety, because you never know. These are giant, big, heavy rigs flying down the road, going 70 miles an hour. Yep. And um, yeah, tire safety is crucial. Well, and, and I'll tell you, you know, when my wife was pregnant, um, she happened to tell me that every pothole that is in the road, somehow I managed to hit. So, <laughs> so I don't know if you guys have the same experience, but that's exactly how it was for me. Yeah. Um, and have you, you guys ever blown a tire? You ever had that experience? I know it's one of like, the dreaded fears, right, when yeah. in our being. No, yeah, we. Thankfully, we haven't. We haven't. But knock I, on wood. Knock, knock on wood. Yeah. 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 We got our first Class A motorhome. It had old tires, and the first thing we did was replace them. Okay. Just to avoid that. But yep. No. Have you had any blowouts? <laughs> I, I have. You have. I have. Oh. Yeah. So, um, and, and it's interesting, right? Uh -huh. Because if a normal tow vehicle or a normal car, right? You know, you're driving a car. I, I have no problem changing my own tire. You know, I, I can make that work. I, I may have soft hands, but I can change a tire. So, uh, but you know, I was driving a class C uh -huh. and it, it just kind of came out of nowhere, you know, driving and all of a sudden hear a big pop, mm. look back in my mirror, bunch of smoke coming out. And I'm like, well, that's probably not good. Mm -hmm. And so, so I'll pull off to the side of the road and go and take a look. And sure enough, uh, you know, it was a dually and my inside tire had blown. Yeah. Um, Great. That's, that's so, that's scary. It is. It, it absolutely yeah. is. You know, and everyone, everyone riding was like, what in the world is that? And you know, my heart starts racing, you yeah, know, yeah. like it, everything starts to slow down. And I'm like, please don't be massive damage. Please don't be massive damage. You know, like, yeah. I know we didn't overload what's going yeah. on. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, you know, we went back there and sure enough, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know how to change a tire. I mean, I, I don't have a jack that can lift this thing up. And yeah. so 
You know, I, I did, uh, luckily being a Camping World employee, I have, I have good Sam. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, I did call and they came out and it was actually interesting because they have to come out with a special vehicle, yeah. a special rig to be able to jack it up. It's actually uh, generally the same thing they would come out to help like a, um, an 18 wheeler, you yeah. know, like, like a semi truck, oh, wow. you know, because it's the same thing. If, if their That's truck true. blows a tire, you need some kind of special equipment. Yeah. And so the cool thing about this, and they were able to fix it. And, you know, I got back on the yeah. road, um, I don't know if this is technically legal, but my passengers all had beers while we were waiting because they were in the fridge, you know? I, I was driving, I was sober, but... Um, you gotta... But you, you gotta do what you, you gotta, gotta do. You gotta make the best of it, you yeah, know? It's all exactly. about the experience. But that's the thing. It's like, we don't have to have necessarily experience to worry about that experience happening. So yes. I think like for us, it's something that always sits in the back of their mind as for soon sure. as we turn the car on. So to have, again, reassurance and like success stories like yourself, like, oh, hey, yeah. you know, it actually, um, it's actually not as bad as it, it, it can be. And then also Good Sam was there to help you. It gives yep. us peace of mind while we're on the road. It, exactly. Peace of yeah. mind is a huge deal. And huge. I'm, I'm glad they were able to fix it. Yeah. Um, you know, if not, the cool thing is, you know, they, they would have been able to uh, fix it several different ways. They can fix the tire. They can fix the wheel. They'll yeah. replace it if they have to. Uh, I'm telling you, it's definitely a good deal, folks. This is just one of many stories. I'm sure if you talk to some people that are some RVs, uh, <laughs> friends that have been out there, they'll have yep. similar stories. So if you're interested, make sure you sign up for it. Good Sam membership, 100% worth it. Caleb, Tiffany, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank I appreciate you. you. Thanks, Ian. And I, I love all those people right there. And I love the Good Sam membership. It's been so great. I mean, we had people ask us, is it really worth getting? If you're yes. going to be full-time RVers or even not, but you're going to do a lot of weekend warriors, it's totally, totally worth it. We yeah, love Good Sam. You'll save on the resorts. And then also, we actually used it yesterday while we're here at this <laughs> location, buying a bunch of uh, outdoor gear and clothes that was 40% off with it. So I'm not going to lie. It was mostly my stuff. But you know what? I birthed <laughs> your kids. I deserve it. <laughs> so it's fine. Anyway, guys, we wanted to – my mic went out earlier, so I wanted to – talk about our treasures we're doing yeah guys we are doing a nationwide basically treasure hunt we're hiding 10 treasures we've already hidden two out of the 10 but we're going to keep hiding them all the way to the end of the tour one just went live today on yes. our instagram so to see the clues of where that treasure is hidden make sure to follow us at the jergies that's j-u-r-g-y-s and uh yeah it, it's live first one to find it gets it and uh, that one's good for $500 to spend at Camping World. But we are giving one away for it's for a free RV. So you got to be uh -huh. following along. We're not going to tell you which treasure is the RV, so you have to be following along. Yeah, and the clues are just going to randomly go up on our Instagram. So whoever finds that one will get the free RV as well. So pretty exciting. And we got a giveaway right now that we wanted yes. to do as well. As you're watching this live stream, if you guys want to be eligible for giveaways, just register, text URVS to 46642. Easy, and then easy. you're eligible to win stuff as well. And so the giveaway that we're doing right now, this is for a 49cc scooter. These scooters are awesome. They're so fun. And you don't need a motorcycle endorsement for this one. So they're sweet. The winner is El Sayed Abu Zaid. Dang. So congrats. <laughs> we're soaked for you. And hope you enjoy it. And guys, make sure to register. We got more coming up right here with the Mom Trotter interview. I'm Sean Parr. I've got Tiffany Remington here with me. One of my favorite parts of everything we do for the mm -hmm. Ultimate RV Show National Tour as we continue going coast to coast is a chance to talk to our partners out on the road that are out there full time. And we've got two amazing people with us. Uh, we like to call them influencers, of course, Karen and Sylvester of the Mom Trotter who do this full time. How are you guys, first hey, of all? Hey, We're doing Woo! good. Hi, guys. Oh, man, this is so <laughs> great to talk to you guys. First of all, Let's get caught up because for those of us that follow you know, but there's a lot of people checking in for the very first time mm -hmm. that want to know everything about what you do and who you are because uh, you're constantly on the road. This is what you do. Right. Yeah, and I know that you're traveling right now from West Coast back to East Coast, and I do follow you, and I was just amazed how quickly you got from point A, and I think you're in Georgia now? Yes, we just got here. <laughs> we just got to Georgia last night, and uh, it's beautiful. It's already raining over here. I know. It's been a little wet. We've been traveling on the East Coast, too, and we've almost caught the rain every single time. But I, for me, at least it's better than snow right now. So, 
My, my, my seven-year-old will say otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> he now, wanted to stay in Colorado. Oh. <laughs> Karen, you guys are from Colorado, and you do this full-time across the country. Uh, give us a de- the, uh, the definition of driving your Class C and how much uh, fun that is to get the kids, put them in the RV, and head across the country. Well, we live in our RV full time and we've been doing this since last year and it has been the best experience, the best. It's the best decision we made for our family. Um, we have a seven year old. He's almost eight and he loves every minute of it. He just he just adapted so well to it. I just it, it's, it's amazing. He meets friends everywhere. He he's excited about visiting new states and checking them off his list. So it's really fun for all of us. I love it. So what kind of got you guys into the idea of RVing in the first place a year ago? And how hard was that? How hard or easy um, was that the transition for you and your entire family? I think it was an it was an easy transition. Well, it was a little hard. It wasn't that easy. (laughs) No, it was not for him. (laughs) Because my my, my husband wasn't ready. Like I I told him, I was like, oh, we need to sell our home and buy an RV. And he was like, what? So <laughs> initially, you know, but then when we they made the decision to right away, we literally sold and bought an RV within a week and we're on the road. So it happened very quickly. Wow. So now you have your work, you have your family, you have the schooling, you do it all across the country. And, you, you know, seeing your picture, <clears throat> seeing your family, seeing the smiles on the kids' faces <laughs> when you're standing below a sign that says we've conquered this state, we're going to the next state. That's what it's all about, right? Just like you were saying. And I love the fact that they have a list that they check off the states that you've been to. Right. So we have a map that's on the outside. And then um, our seven-year-old also has a book, like, you know, where he writes, you know, places he's been and things like that. Like he does a report on it when we go somewhere. I love it. I'm actually jealous that you guys find all the signs because I've been following you guys for a little bit now. And I, (laughs) Caleb and I, while we're crossing the state lines, I'm literally looking around. I'm like, where does the mom trotter find these signs? Because I, they're like little green signs that I pass. And I'm like, they have to know the secrets. My husband is the one. He finds all those yeah, signs. Yeah, I, I do a lot of the route, tra- uh, route mapping. When she tells me we're going through the state, I'll map the route out and find the signs. You usually have to go to like go through like the Google or, uh, Earth image. And you can find the signs just right there. Oh. And uh, I just plan to end it. That's yeah. so smart. Karen, I want to pick up on something that you said a moment ago. Uh, you weren't, you were sure that you wanted to sell the house and do this. Mm-hmm. But Sylvester, you weren't you know, like fully in. Obviously, you've been doing this for over a year now full time. So you obviously are. But how has this brought you together closer as a family? Uh, it's, it's really brought us closer together as a family a whole lot. I mean, we do a lot of things together. Everything. And we do pretty much everything together. We're together 24-7 in a tiny boxy every day. You can't get any closer to your family than this. But it's good. It's good. I mean, the bond is stronger. We get to, like, do a lot of things with Aiden, too, which is uh, the goal was more doing things as a family. Yeah. So it's, it's been pretty much uh, amazing. I love that so much. Now, my question is, Caleb and I, we lived full-time in an RV for two and a half years, now close to three years. And I started, maybe it's me turning 30, I don't know, but I started to need alone time <laughs> a little bit. So I found myself hiding in the bathroom sometimes. That's so really the only place that has another door. How do you guys kind of tackle the alone time, especially with having a family and like kids all in a class C? Yeah. Um, so what I do sometimes is I drive because our RV, our class C tows our car. So sometimes if we have a long drive, I'll, I will literally unhook it so I can drive. So <laughs> I can I be that. just alone in a car and just, you know, just have my thoughts only. <laughs> or sometimes, you know, if I go somewhere with Aiden, then, you know, my husband will be by himself for a little bit, or, you know, I'll just leave for a little bit. Uh, but we don't, funny enough, we don't really need much alone time. We're, we're really good together. We've, we've, we've gotten like, you know, the hang of things and it works out really good. And also, when I go, I mean, sometimes you go shopping, you go buy groceries and all that stuff. I have a whole a lot of one time then. Uh, drive it around, just sit right there in the car. <laughs> and sometimes I come back and just sit and just wait. <laughs> so that kind of helps. 
Yeah, because we, we all know. I mean, come on, we're creatures of habit, but we also need our alone time. We need to unplug oh, a little absolutely. bit and give everybody else their space, too, because as kids, Definitely. we know. I mean, they, they're doing their homeschooling. We're constantly on, and we want to make sure they get everything done. Sometimes they need to take a minute as well, which is awesome. And speaking of homeschooling, how has that been for you uh, being out on the road? Perfect. We've always homeschooled from like day one. So this wasn't any different for us. And before the RV travel, we actually traveled internationally, you know, like on a, on a monthly basis. So we've always traveled. So this, the only difference is, you know, we're not home anymore. So the, the, our school, like Aiden schooling has always been on the road. He's used to it. Like, you know, so we do a lot of school. Like if we go to someplace, we'll do some research about the area. We'll visit some, you know, monuments. It depends on what we're, you know, looking up and researching. Uh, for the past, like last year, we were very, did a lot of black history, which was amazing because we went through um, Alabama, Tennessee. We read all the books. Uh, we visited all the sites. So it's one thing to read it, but to actually see it in person, it's just been amazing. And Aiden loves it. Uh, for science, he was talking about the other day he found a snake. He picked it up and he could, He told me, he told us that the snake was venomous or something. Oh, it was well, not it venomous. Was nothing. And I had no idea. I was like, how did you know that? He said, because the head is shaped this way. And he's explaining all this stuff. And I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> well, that's good that he studies that stuff. And, yeah. uh, son, here's your new project. You're going to be doing snakes right. for the rest of your life. Make sure every oh. state... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he knows. He's he's good at it. So he was teaching us about things. So I love it. <laughs> it's amazing, honestly. It's I remember being in school and not obviously it's not homeschool, but always looking forward to field trips and being able to travel full time in an RV and doing homeschooling. It's a field trip every day, and it makes schooling so yep. much more interesting. And also, you just you're able to touch and and play with things a lot more. And I I'm a kinesthetic learner, so I'm all about that. I have huge envy. My inner child is literally crawling out being like, I wish I was, I was able to have that experience. So major props to you guys and for all of those out there that are homeschooling. I think it's absolutely the most incredible way to learn. I agree with you. Totally true. Yeah. And what about friends uh, for Aiden and being out on the road? I mean, that could sometimes be a little bit tough, but then with technology today, does that help you a lot? Yeah, it does. And Aiden, yeah, okay. Aiden makes friends like he is. Oh my God, you get to, you get to like an RV park or campsite, and he already has a best friend. I'm He's like, gone. <laughs> I'm like, you just met. Like, <laughs> what do you? So he has no problem making friends and keeping friends. So he has an email address actually, which I always I recommend parents like you know like just sign up your kids for an email. So he gets the, you know other friends' emails, and he loves sending emails, and it's actually good good for him because he's learning to because he's learning to type, learning to email. Yeah. So he really keeps in contact with his friends, you know, via email. And then everywhere we go, he always finds new friends, always. Like, he's always meeting somebody new and always ready to go out and play. Um, I think kids make friends so easily, though. So for him, it's just, like, normal. <laughs> Here's a very interesting question for you. And immediately when I knew we were going to talk to you guys and, and, uh, and I knew what kind of RV that you drove, I thought to myself, why a Class C when you decided to sell your house and get on the road? Did you look at other units? Did, was that the one that fit you? Did we look at actually, oh, we didn't actually look at any other units. <laughs> it was what was affordable at the time. At the time, that's the <laughs> truth. Because we yeah. were ready to go, so I was like, we went online. We're looking and said, "What's the cheapest that we can get now?" That would be debt free, right? That will you know we wouldn't have a payment on. So that was what we found, and honestly, that's what we got. <laughs> Just like that, boom! And you have made the most of it because I'll tell you what—it's convenient. Tell us a little bit about driving it. What it's like? Was it everything that you thought it was going to be when you got in it? Yep. At first, when we got it, she, she, she did all the design. She told me what she wanted to do, what she needed, or what she pictured she wanted the inside to look like. So we did the whole renovation and made it look like home. So when we started driving, I mean, it's, it's been pretty awesome. So we bought a car that we towed to tow, uh, back of the RV. So, I mean, to go around. Perfect. I want to know a little bit more about the RV. Is yeah. it, how long is it? How many slide outs do you have? How roomy? Well, we, we actually have one slide out. It's a 31 foot RV. Okay. Uh, nice. It's a fleet with tie Yeah. And it's, it's, it has one slide, which was really what got Karen to like, love it. So uh, it slides out, pulls up, opens up real big. So you have a big family space where you can sit with a dinette area. And then you also, we also have like the, um, the lounge area, which is the, um, the sofa mm -hmm. and then a kitchen. 
Yeah. yeah. And Karen, what about that kitchen? I mean, Sylvester, when you go in there to ki- when you when you go in there to do a little grilling, little cooking or whatever, I mean, is there enough room? You felt like this was it going from the house to the RV and you know what? We're going to be doing this full time. I love I and I know the answer to, to to from Karen already because your face lights up when you talk about getting in that RV. Uh Sylvester for for you though, getting into that kitchen, w- was it everything you expected? Is it okay for you? It is right. Yes, it is. Because one of the things Karen wanted to wear a huge, she wanted a big kitchen in the RV. Uh, most RVs do have, have like little small counter space and she wanted a huge counter, uh, a huge counter space where yeah. she could move things around. And I mean, that's one of the reasons why she picked this RV. I love it. Now, is a class C something that you guys are going to keep traveling in for a while? Are you guys looking to upgrade Motorhomes, trailers, <laughs> fifth wheels. <laughs> I'll let her take that. So, I was going to say so fast. <laughs> so, there we go. You know, I, love, I love this little, I feel like Aiden and I have gotten kind of attached here because my husband's always looking at fifth wheels uh-huh. and travel trailers. And Aiden's like, well, you don't like her tiny little home? You want it bigger? I thought you liked the tiny little home. He's so funny when he says that. But um, we've been looking at, you know, like, you know, travel trailers and fifth wheels and um, looking to upgrade at some point. I mean, we love this. It's it's really been nice for us, but um, I think we're ready for an upgrade. <laughs> so definitely fifth well. All right, I got to ask you both, and I'm going to start with you, Karen, uh, because I know you get behind the wheel. What's your maximum? Because I we've talked about driving a Class C. It's so convenient to just get in and go, and you know you unplug, boom, you're in a new town, you're at a new campground. It's it's so convenient. You've obviously got the right size. You have the space inside, the lounging area, the kitchen, the bedrooms. You have all your conveniences. But getting from place to place, what is your maximum driving time? I usually, uh, in a car, am at about four hours. What about you, Karen, driving a Class C? Driving? Driving. Uh, me? She <laughs> <laughs> does not drive. Okay. Let's, let's take that I, out. I, I That's my exact driving. same answer. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay. Driving me? No. <laughs> she, she, she drives from the passenger seat. <laughs> Karen, you and I, I never, best friends. I've never driven. Never driven. <laughs> I've never driven. Okay. <laughs> and I, I love this stuff. I love this, Sylvester, because she said, well, we're going to we're going to mo- sell the house. We're going to get an RV and we're going to hit the road. Oh, by the way, you're, you're driving. driving. You're driving. <laughs> but he likes to drive. I love right? driving. Yeah. So even if I even if I wanted to, which I probably won't, but even if I did want to, he would probably be like, nah, that's OK. I'll drive. So. <laughs> but we, we've actually done six straight hours of driving and probably well, have an hour. The other day, seven and a half. Yeah. Actually, so. seven. Yeah. Actually, seven and a half. Yes, that that's correct. We did seven and a half straight driving. Yeah, and what's your max for you? You you start to feel six hours. You need to take a minute and 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 take a breather, or where are you at there? I think seven hours is good. Okay, for me. I think and now that we have, if we have a certain destination to be at, I could probably take a shot of coffee and boom, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, now that Caleb and I have been traveling, we're in a Class C, too. We're just a little bit smaller. We're in a 29-foot. Um, but as Sean was saying, it's so nice to be able to pack Sorry, up guys. and leave real quick. And and I think that also helps with the longevity of the drive because we're not so tired from packing up and all that stuff like we were in our Class A, which was a lot bigger. Um, I would say seven hours is our comfort spot, too. It's like mm-hmm. you're tired you're tired enough, but you still have some energy to at least like make dinner, whether if it's in a Walmart parking lot or a campsite if you're doing a long drive or not, but you're not too overtired where you can't do that seven hour the next day. So yeah. and I ex- hear you. Sylvester, explain to the satisfaction that you get when you pull into that campground or that, you know, Walmart <laughs> oh. parking lot if you're taking a break overnight or wherever you pull into. Uh, explain that satisfaction of just putting it in park. And heading to the back. Oh, God, it's like a whole breath of relief, fresh air, knowing that we've gotten to the next destination safely. And it's time to just rest, <laughs> rest like they're just loosen up and just relax. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing just knowing that we've gotten from point A to point B safely, which is usually the goal. <laughs> I love it. Now, 
you you let Caleb, her husband, <laughs> us the Remingtons, they're all over the place too. And and I love that that Caleb, uh, you make him drive. My wife, we're getting into a class A. <laughs> she says. You're doing all the driving. So we can, she's good with going. She's good with setting everything up. We're all good to go. She's so excited about it. But like you, Karen, she said, uh-uh, you're doing all the driving. Right. <laughs> I'm excited. Like, I'm looking forward to, because I'm, I'm almost out of my first trimester of pregnancy. So it was really hard for me to get behind the wheel and not be able to have a nausea spell. So Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to help out with the driving. The class A was a little bit too big for me. It was really intimidating. The class C, I feel like at least feels more like driving a truck or a U-Haul or something like that. So I feel a little bit more confident in that. Karen, is that something that, is, is that, something that would interest you? Interest you? Is, do you have the same fears as me of it being too big, the blind spots, or <laughs> you just like being the coaster too? <laughs> I do. I honestly, I'm not a fan of driving and I feel like I'm not driving something this big. No, I don't think I could do it. If I, if we had something smaller, I would probably feel comfortable driving, but this one, no, I don't think so. She'll still make me drive the smaller one. <laughs> I love it. You could get a 15 footer and you'd be driving all the time, Sylvester. And I'm cool with right. that. Now here, here's the thing. I'll, before we get uh, the time gets away from us, I, I want to ask you, there's a lot of folks that this is RVing is their first time. And Karen, when you got everything set up and you decided to do this, what are some first time RVing tips that you could give to people that are thinking about getting that class C? What are the must haves for them? Like must haves in the class C? Yeah, to like get started, right program. when they get started. This is something you gotta have. You gotta make sure you do this, gotta make sure you do this. You wanna take that one? I'm trying to think of, so when we got it, the first things, the first thing we checked for just, oh, the first, I think we mentioned gas. So to make sure to fill up the I think the first time we were taking the trip, we didn't know how to turn on the gas. So we went to sleep and we were cold because we forgot to turn on the gas and that the gas runs a heater. That's something that we didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we went to sleep that night and we were freezing. freezing. And then we woke up in the morning and realized that the gas was, was, was uh, off the whole time. So, so know everything things. about your RV is what you're saying. Yes. yes, like no, like the little things. Read your manuals. <laughs> <laughs> owner's manual. Read your owner's manual. Look it up online. Look it up online. Ask questions about it, and if you buy it from somebody, have them give you like a full walkthrough, wherever you get it yep. from, just so that you don't miss anything. Because there's so many little parts of you know little things that you may not realize that you know a lot of buttons that you have to turn on and turn off. And to be honest with you, even till now, there's some buttons and I'm not sure about. I'm like, what's this for? You know. <laughs> but my husband, he knows all of that stuff, so. Yeah, so 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 one of the main things you want to get for for a brand new RV is you want to make sure you have like your water hose, mm -hmm. you have your sewer hose. Um, I mean, you get like your um, your leveling uh, jacks. Make sure those are all set. Um, you also know where to put your gas. I mean. Yeah. No. Where definitely. To, where I the gas tank. Yeah, because I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked okay, about it before, yeah. where it's just like, you kind of just have to get in the RV, take it to a campground, and just play around with it, figure out exactly right. what you're saying, touch Definitely. all the buttons, what does this do, what does that do? Because sometimes they're labeled, sometimes they're not, if it's an older RV, sometimes they've got rubbed off and all that stuff. Caleb and I, when we got in this class C, we were pushing buttons like we were in an airplane trying to take off, and we're like, well, what does this do and that do? So I hear you on that. And when you go to campgrounds, like we've talked about before, it's just so nice that the community there, everyone's willing to help. It took us about four hours to figure out where to plug in the RV. If we could turn it on without electrocuting ourselves, we had people walking by asking if we needed help. You know, have you had that kind of experience and that kind of camaraderie? I know when you were talking about um, Aiden and him being able to make friends, like, do you feel like it's the same for adults? Like when they go into campsites? I would say, honestly, the best part of RVing is the RV community, hands down. When we lived in a house, there was no way I would let Aiden just go out and play, to be honest with you. I would just, I would never let that happen. At the RV parks, honestly, sometimes he just gets up and he's gone. And I'm like, just come back. Yeah. And sometimes he'll come back, I already had lunch. I'm like, you had lunch? What? Somebody <laughs> fed you? And then, yeah. And then later That's on, true. and later on, there are a bunch of kids outside eating marshmallows. And the parents are like, oh, they already had dessert then. So it's the RV community for me, honestly. This is the reason why we, 
after a couple of months, we decided that there's no way we're going back to a house because we feel free. We yeah. can get up. If we don't like our backyard, we can get up and change it. Aiden can get out and make friends. We also can make friends as adults. And making friends as adults is hard, honestly. It's, it it's kind of awkward. Mm-hmm. It's not like a kid where, you know, you just talk about, oh, I like your bike. And then they're gone, you know. <laughs> For adults, I feel like it's, it's so different. But the RV community is amazing. amazing. It's they amazing. are the best. Okay, for those folks that are watching right now and, and just thinking about getting started, so you know your RV, practice. Uh, you, you know, uh, one of the things that we've learned over the last several weeks is when you get that RV is put it in your driveway and go out and act like you're at a campground and test everything out and try it. And then also, like you said, Karen, make sure wherever you get it, Sylvester, you mentioned this, that you have your, your sales executive walk you through every little nook and cranny so that you know. And then there's something that we guys, uh, my wife does this all the time. She reads everything. She, cir- uh, she goes online. She researches stuff. I'm not that guy. I think I know it all. I don't want to read a manual. I'm not going to open that book until there's a problem. So read your manual and know all your stuff. Okay, aside from your RV now, Karen, I'm looking to you for the first part of this. What's the (laughs) one must-have extra thing that you had to get to bring with you? Was it a grill? Was it the chairs? What, what, What was it to make sure that you were comfortable when you stopped the first couple of times? You're like, oh, we gotta get that. An instant pot. Oh, yeah. Yes. My Instant Pot. I use it every single day, several times a day. I use it for everything. It's one of my must-have items is to have an Instant Pot. And the grill, to my husband loves the grill. So we, we have a grill. We use that grill all the time. So it's a good grill every day. And then, like you mentioned, cheers, too. Yes, because sometimes, you know, because the RV is small. So you want to be able to get out and just sit out and rest. And a lot of, you know, RV parks don't always have, you know, chairs for you to sit on. So make sure you have your own. You can lounge. My favorite ones are the ones that you can lounge in, lay back in, and put your feet up. I just sit there sometimes and just like hang out. I would also say I would also say a hammock. You would also need oh, a hammock yeah, because hammock. if you camp it out in the trees, you could just tie it out and just lay out there. It's, it's pretty nice. It's a must-have. I love it. I love I love to hear that stuff because you do this professionally. This is or not professionally, but full time. Well, I guess we could say you're professional professionally now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so these are the things that we love to hear because yep. we need to know, especially for those folks like and I've been in a class C and a toy boxes and I've done all that. But stepping up into a, a another adventure like a class A. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also very excited about it. I don't want to miss anything. That's what I'm afraid of. The Instapot. I'm going to, Karen, that is honestly such a huge lifesaver in an RV because you are limited in counter space and all that stuff. And prepping is, um, well, I mean, you can still prep and all that stuff, but the Instapot makes everything so much easier. And the cleanup is easy and you can cook for a family. You can host people. I love it so, so much. I'm a big fan of that, a thousand percent, yes. So that might be our gift for you in your class, eh? <laughs> I'm loving life. <clears throat> Let's talk destinations for just a yes. moment because you just went uh, across the country from the West Coast, as Tiffany was saying, to Atlanta, uh, out in Georgia now. Um, where are some of the best destinations that you've been Ooh, so I far this, yeah. that you said, you know what, this is where if you're going to RV, if you're going to get out, take your family here. Uh, for different reasons, I would say one of them I like was Louisiana. I really like Louisiana. The food, just for the food alone. Yes. <laughs> I highly recommend it for the food. But I would say for outdoor family time, ultimately, Wyoming, Montana. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Idaho. There. Very, I mean, we spent like three months out there in Where? the summer. And all we did was like lakes, hikes, outdoor stuff. Like, I'm telling you, even for, for now, like socially distant stuff, like it was just, it was amazing. Yeah. So those three states for a lot of outdoor activities. If, if you're a foodie, then head to Louisiana. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I knew I should have hit you up when we were passing through Louisiana. I know it was only for a day, but we were looking for the good food spots. And oh we God. had no Lots idea where to go. Oh. You'll we have to stop get... <laughs> Yeah, you have to stop there. There's yeah. no way. Especially in New Orleans. I mean, the food, you can't eat a bad meal. No, you oh, can't. Right. You okay. absolutely can't. No. Kix Brooks, who's uh, uh, from Brooks and Dunn, is a dear friend of mine. He's from Louisiana, and every we go back and play a lot of golf there. And the 
the one thing he is so excited about, and he's not from like the big city area. He's from the, the back small areas, small towns. We hit these places where you're like, I'm like, we're stopping here. Are you sure? And we go in there. It's the best Cajun. It's the best spices. Know, yeah. It's the best. How do you even describe Definitely. Louisiana food, right? Yes. Yeah, the crab boils, oh, the beignets. It's real. We missed out. We really it's did. But right. maybe when we take off for our next destination, we'll go back towards Louisiana and, and go north. That would be fun. And then I'm going to hit you up, Karen, for all of the spots. And Sylvester, I know that you have some. I know you have some some spots up your sleeves as well. Uh, for me, I because I, I really like barbecue. So can, I would say um, Kentucky. Oh, uh, Kansas was one of my favorite places too. They have one of the best barbecue. Kansas you can is find. one of our stops. Yeah, there's so many great places. That's a great thing about being out on the road, just like you guys do and have done for the last year. You've done such a good job uh, letting us live vicariously through you. Uh, and how can people get a hold of you? How can they follow you? On Instagram, <laughs> you can find me at the Mom Trotter. On uh, basically every social media network Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, and TikTok too. <laughs> All of the Mom Trotter. I'll tell you what, Mom Trotter, we love you, and, and we're not going to let you get too far from us because coming up, we're going to take a look at this amazing RV. We like to call it the partner pick, and we're going to let you guys talk all about it. So don't go anywhere as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. Well, here we go with our partner pick. And of course, Karen, Sylvester, it was so great to get to know you. For those folks that haven't had a chance to follow you yet on your Instagram, on YouTube, and of course, all the socials. But the Mom Trotter, we love you guys. And um, I, the I'll tell you something right now. When we bring Ian in, we know we're going to look at an incredible uh, piece of RV equipment. And of course, the unit that you guys have selected. Now we talked about upgrading possibly from your class C. Why'd you pick this particular unit? Uh, number one, it has a bunk room. <laughs> I like that it has a bunk room. Number two, I like the refrigerator is much bigger than the one we have now. My husband's always trying to buy a bunch of groceries. So <laughs> having something bigger is nice. And then the living area. And then lastly, the, the island. I just, I love that sink in the middle. That extra space right there is just it's just beautiful. And then the, the the living room area, it's just everything is so much better about like, you know, like a, this fifth well, yeah. Yeah, I, I have to agree well. with you. That's one of the things I really love about the, the mid bunk, right? Because this is kind of something that's fairly new to the industry, this fifth wheel layout. They've only had it for about two, maybe going on three years now. And it gives you that rear living feel, right? That That you guys want. So it feels like home. You get to kick back and relax but you still have the sleeping space for the kids. Normally they get the entire back half of the RV, right? And you miss out, but that's not at all the case here. You get the big fridge, you get the island, you get everything you need and they still get their own space. Let's, yeah, uh, let's... I, I definitely like that about it. Where do you want to start, Ian? Yeah, let's, let's actually start over on the campsite slide. Um, so one of the great things is as, as we, right before we started, Sylvester, I heard you say, you know, look at all that space. And you're absolutely right. <laughs> and, and part of the reason for that is because we have those two <clears throat> slides that are directly across from each other. I know in your class C now, you guys said you had the single slide. But when you're able to get two directly across like that, it really opens up that space. And that's what allows for that kitchen island to be in the center. And so if we look at that campsite slide, they really fully utilize that space by giving you both the dining area, which is a kind of freestanding table and chairs. Now, in your, in your motorhome currently, do you guys have a, a booth style dinette or do you have um, like a table and chairs like this setup in your class oh, no, C? Booth. It's a booth side. It's, it's a, a booth. booth. Yeah. And, and I, I really like this, this uh, setup here, right? Because if you don't need the extra sleeping space, I think the freestanding table and chairs is a great look and it gives you a lot more room. It's easier to get in and out of. You know, you don't have to, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, right? But when I go out to eat, 
Uh, I always want the outside of the booth because I don't want to have to have someone else get out so I can get out, you know? So I, <laughs> I, I do like this setup a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then, Sean, take a look at that theater seating. Man, what do you guys think about that? Do you, what do you, for uh, current seating in your class C now, do you have a uh, sofa? Yeah, we have, we have a sofa, but okay. um, something, something like that would be nice. <laughs> yes, yes. For movies in the air? Yeah, yeah. Nice. for movies yeah. and stuff like what, that. Besides the space, Sylvester, for you, what were some of the things you were looking for in this fifth wheel? One of the things I was looking for is the um, the coffee area. It has like a little coffee section, coffee table section, nice. which is pretty good. I, I'm a coffee drinker. I love to have a fresh cup of coffee in the morning. Um, and also, um, pretty nice as long as it, it has like a huge fridge. Yes. Sylvester, I think we'd get along, buddy. I'm a big coffee drinker myself, as I'm sure Sean, Sean here can attest from hanging out with me the past couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. We love our coffee. So that's a really cool thing. And, and you're right. I could see where you could set up your own little coffee station there. And, Karen, one of the things you were talking about was that refrigerator, but also that center island right there. And I'm so glad we're taking a look at this because it looks like to me, I, I mean, I'm like, look at the space, but also you can cover that sink, have a little bit more space, uh, countertop if you need it. But then, of course, you've got the sink right underneath it. There's so much convenience when you have a center island, when you're cooking, when you're preparing things, when you're looking to take care of the family, or you just want to sit there and enjoy your cup of coffee in the morning and maybe get a stool there to put, uh, to put on the side. Yeah, I, I have. Oh, go ahead, guys. Sorry. No, 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 no. I was just agreeing with you. Yeah, I say, and, and I, I really like the Center Island in this particular unit too because it, it is so large, right? It, when you start to look at Center Islands, not all of them are this big. I mean, you have a ton of space on both sides of that sink to prep anything. And one of my favorite parts about this one is it, I, I'm a big guy uh, where I, I want my trash can hidden, right? Like I. I don't necessarily love when I have to tie my, my trash bag onto pulls, and right there is one of my favorite parts. A designated place, get to pull it out, double trash can, so I have the storage. They're small enough that they're still convenient to take outside through the door nice and easy. I love that they put that in there. And as we, as we move up a little bit further, you can see the sink, the apron front sink. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I want to go back to the trash uh, uh, compactor in the drawer there for just a second, yeah. which I thought was so That's custom amazing. and so nice. And mm -hmm. I, if you follow Ian, then you know this about him. And he's not lying when he says, look, I'm all about the trash compactor. I'm all about making sure that it's hidden. I don't want to see it. I don't want to smell it. I don't want, <laughs> it's just there. It's always clean. It's got to be convenient for him. Yes. And I love, when I saw this earlier, and I was looking at some of the amenities, this is an amenity that for some people is a game changer. I mean, it, this is this is like uh -huh. a this has got to be the deal. This seals the deal. And for for a guy like Ian, like I said, I mean, he's very serious about it. Yes, this is just an amenity that makes perfect sense. Yep, it yeah. does. We have that issue because we don't have I, like we have a problem with that because I complain about that all the time. It's like, where do we put the trash? Oh, we got to hang a bag here. We got to go outside and take it out and. That right there, and that's one of the reasons, again, why we wanted, you know, to, to move like, to a, uh, a fiddle or a trailer, because then you have more options like that, where you can put your trash in there and you can hide it where nobody sees it and it's not just out there, you know. Yeah. And we, and we, we're, we're trash, we're trash tucked away like this, make you feel like you're kind of, you're home, you know, because most homes have trash cans that are tucked away. So, I mean, it's like home on the road and it's, yes, this is awesome. And yeah. that's a game. Let's take a look at that sink now, Ian, get, uh, and see if we can get a little bit closer to that and, and open that, uh, the cupboards right there, which are, looks like we got a lot of storage under there. Yeah, yeah, there's good storage underneath. Like I say, you have that big, beautiful apron front sink. Sylvester, you talked about, you know, kind of, kind of feeling like it's home, right? And that, that apron front is something that the RV industry started bringing in from the residential side. And, you know, it kind of gives it that farmhouse look and appeal. And, it, it, you know, again, it doesn't necessarily feel like you know, you're in, you're in a trailer, you know, you're in an RV. It feels like you are in a home on wheels. Um, and, and one of the other things I love about this setup, you know, when we were looking at that living room too, not to bounce around too much, but 
You know, I know that you guys said that you spend a lot of time with the family, with the kids, and you feel like you're always together. And in something like this, there's enough seating for everyone all the way around, from the table to the theater seats to the sofa. Everyone can be around, be together, and everyone's going to be sitting there comfortably. Yeah, you talk about a great entertainment area mm -hmm. for you guys as well. When your son brings the kids over that he makes friends in the campground, they're like, hey, come on in. We got plenty of room. Let's go. Mom's <laughs> cooking tacos. Right. <laughs> yeah, it looks bad. Mm-hmm. Nice fireplace down below. That's, yeah. that's one of those things, Sean, that I talk about that a lot of people, um, you know, if they have an older RV or they're just starting to get into RVing, that don't understand that the fireplace is not just for looks. No. But that's actually very convenient because that is a space heater. So if you're plugged in and you have shore power, that's free heat right there. You're not burning any propane. And I, hey, anything, anything I can get for free, I'm all for it. Don't know about you guys, but that's me. <laughs> yeah, and right. compare it, if you will, uh, Karen, to, from your Class C to where you are here as far as an entertainment uh, center is considered. We don't have one. <laughs> oh, you do There is none. No, no we, we, that's, that's why I keep saying that that's, we need that. That's why yeah, you pick this one. You're like, one. okay, we got a fireplace. We got the heater. We don't have to worry about turning the gas on. We just crank that sucker up, and it's good to go. Right, and then we have the TV, and because we don't have a TV in our main area, which is you know good or bad, but um, so that would be nice. Yeah, and one of the things I really like about, as I said, the mid bunk setup. Um, I know when when Tiffany was up here earlier, you're talking about sometimes you just need a little bit of separation of space, and the only place you have to go is a, a bathroom a lot of times, right? But here mm -hmm. you get that you get that second room right here. You get that you know they call it a mid bunk. Uh, but a lot of manufacturers call it different things. They'll call it a bonus room. You know, I've heard it be called uh, the in-law suite, right? <laughs> like you get uh, just a space to kind of get away if you have to. And because it is so big, I mean, that's, it's a big fifth wheel. It is big. You can go, you know, back up into the bedroom and you kind of have that separation of space when you're in something, you know, that's a uh, 40 foot long. Now, is this one of the reasons, Karen, that you were thinking about or Sylvester that, yeah, we have a little place to escape if we need it? Well, yeah, well, that too, but more thinking of where Aiden has his own room where he can close the door. Yeah, nice. You know, so that's one of the things that we want to be able to have that's a space where he can close the door. And because he loves playing video games, and oh my God, he gets really loud. You want to play games? Close the door, son, and play as many games as you want to in there. So. <laughs> I love everything about this area too, Ian. And and look at all the little things. I'm a wood guy. I'm a you know light guy. I want to see all of the little things on the outside. All of the little amenities. Look at the storage that you even have in there. It really feels like you know what? I can go in there. Mm -hmm. I can plug in my laptop. I can play my video games, and I can be left alone for a while. And if I feel like falling asleep on the couch, no problem, because this is where I do my you know guy thing, where I just kind of chill and kind of hang a little bit. Oh yeah, absolutely. You talk about the details. I mean, you can see that you know there's glass on the bottom doors. So many and, amenities. And if you're gonna fall asleep, I mean that you know that is a trifold sofa that's in there, Sean. So that does fold out into a nice, comfortable bed. Um, you know, it's, it's great for sitting on, like I say, playing video games is the perfect room for it because it has the TV hookup right there. It's straight across, you know, um, you know, my son is a, is a big video game guy too. So I know all too well when all of a sudden I, you know, hear him start screaming from upstairs. I'm like, what is going on? I can run up there. Are you okay? Oh yeah, dad, I'm, I'm all right. I'm like, I'm just making sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a beautiful space, heated, cooled. Perfect. <clears throat> you know, the, the interesting thing is, is we've only seen a small portion of this unit so far. Mm -hmm. And now as we start to trek through, look at how long that hallway is. My and hallway. then, of course, you get to more storage, the windows. And look at this little area. Like a little slipping area. Yeah, I, I, I love that that top loft. And so when we talk about mid bunk fifth wheels, as I said, they're fairly new and they're still evolving and changing quite a bit. Um, there are some manufacturers that go this route right here where you have the room underneath with the loft up top. And I think it's great. It really maximizes the sleeping capacity. There's some manufacturers that will eliminate the loft and lift that ceiling height up to give a bigger room in the yeah. center. Uh, and they'll have like a flip down bunk in, instead. Um, so there are different options, but, but I'm with you guys with this Atlas. I, I really like that loft space. I think it gives you, I think it really helps maximize the, the sleeping space in this RV. You I can mean, sleep you, like what, four kids? 
you've got a lot of room in here for a lot of people in here. And walk us through this, if you will, Sylvester, to this next area. So um, what I see is having to have the bathroom look a little bigger. And look, it has a, um, it has a twin, what do you call it? Uh, um, it has a double sink, yes. which is pretty good. So, I mean, Karen could have her seat. My wife could have her side of the sink, and I could have mine, which is pretty good. And Yeah, I, I have to agree with you guys. The, the double vanity is uh, something else that's becoming a lot more popular in the, in the RV scene and something else we've seen being pulled from the residential side. When you yeah. have that, it kind of creates the true you know, master ensuite. You, know, you come out of that master, that master bedroom, go into the bathroom. You know, both people can get ready at the same time. You can kind of have your own space. Um, you know, otherwise, when my wife and I go RVing, you know, I, I have, I mean, this is how it works out, Sean, is I get about this much space and the rest <laughs> of the countertop is her. And I'm like, well, this isn't fair. You know, how does this work? Welcome to my world. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, how are you? Like, okay, you spread out and just, honey, no, you get that. No, no. Guess, guess what? It's the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> she got you, Sylvester. Like, she got you. That's why I told she you. Got me that's why I told you. He loves the space. I told you he loves the space. <laughs> yeah, being able to spread all your stuff. I mean, you could. I have put a tiny you... little area, and he has like a bigger area. I love well, what that. I, what I like, what I like about this is the bathroom. It's it looks big, and I think the height you can and it's uh, it has tall sil tall ceilings, which is pretty good. Good, not almost hitting the ceiling. Because what we have is uh, the, the the ceiling is very low. Yep. Now, one of the things I also notice, and this is a this is a big bonus when Ian is showing a, a unit. The one thing he loves to do is get inside the shower, and look at how big this shower is. I mean, you have a little sitting area almost in the corner there, and mm -hmm. you have. Everything you need, and we go back to the word amenities. I know I'm going to use that a lot, but when you look up a little bit and you see just the shower door, and then you've got this beautiful space, but you've got everything you need. Ian, you get in there. What do you call it? The the confused dog look yeah. when you <laughs> tilt your head sideways. You and Chris get in there, and, but you don't have to do that in this shower because you've got plenty yeah. of room. And it looks like Sylvester, you picked this because the shower is obviously big, but so is the rest. I just feel so roomy in there. Yeah, that, that's one of the other things I picked this, this fifth wheel. Even when you you stand, I mean, you can see the skylight coming through from one side of the bathroom kind of lights up the place. And it's it's just beautiful. And plus with how the um, the the, um, the shower head is, the placement of the shower head, it's really perfect. I yep. love that. Yeah, and, and I always I always talk about, you know, the seat in the shower. Um, while I, I don't personally <clears throat> sit very often when I, when I shower, I know my wife likes it because it makes it a lot easier to shave her legs. And so, you know, for her, um, you know, it's a big plus. And we talk about, speaking of shaving, we talk about uh, having the double vanities. That's another thing she complains about is when we RV, you know, I, I normally keep a beard. And when I have to trim it up, she's like, what is all this hair doing everywhere? Well, now it's on my <laughs> sink. She can keep hers, right? <laughs> she can keep her side clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. And also the storage underneath. We just saw the, the great camera shots that we're getting there with a lot of storage underneath, a lot of storage overhead, the double sinks. And as we yep. move on, we're going to get to, I think I'm going to see the smiles go a little bit bigger because this is where mom and dad hang out back mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. This I, is beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I love this bedroom setup. Um, Again, we talk about bringing in that, that residential decor. So you have a little bit of the farmhouse look on the doors. You actually get you know, a, a full length mirror on the door as well, which is something that a lot of times is hard to find in RVs. Um, you know, usually you get like a waist up and if you wanna make sure you know, the shoes are matching and you know, the pants are looking good and everything else, it's nice to have that full length. Um, and right next to that, Sean, and this might be a big one for you guys, I don't know, but this one does have washer dryer prep. Is that something you guys have now? Do you have washer dryer in your unit? Oh, oh no. no. I wish. <laughs> ah, there you go. See, this is where you get the unit right there inside. You don't have to worry about going anywhere, stopping anywhere, you know, getting into a campground that has the facilities for you because it's all right there for you. And what, what you saw when you looked at the, the original camera shot of that room was just the things that you were talking about, Karen, the space that you needed, the drawers in front of you, the mirror that Ian was talking about, and that homey feel 
that, you know what? This is where we live. This is what we do. We do this full time on the road with our family. And this is a home for us. And like you said, uh, what you did with your class C, you, you put all your stuff in there. So now this is yours. This is where you live. Look at the shelf. I love it. The little things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a huge closet too. Yep, you get the bed. And the bed. I, I love how big the bed is, too, because Aiden, um, he loves to come in bed with us. And now I'm just like, oh, Aiden, it just it feels so tiny. So <laughs> <laughs> so it's always, for me, I feel like it's nice to have, you know, like a bigger size, an option for a bigger size bed, you know, so that we're not like all scrunched up in it. Well, and it's nice, too, because this one's in a slide out. So it's, it's tough to see right now, but there, it is a full walk around bed and you get that space at the foot of the bed as well. So, you know, if you need a place to get dressed, something like that. I mean, there, there's plenty of room there where you can actually do it because that bed does slide out. Yeah. And that's one of the things that you really don't see a lot. But I love that we did this in the Atlas where you get that room. You don't have mm -hmm. to squeeze by anything. When I see this unit and from where we started to where we are now, I feel like I have plenty of space. I don't feel cramped. I feel like I could spread out. My wife will love it. My kids, when they hang out with mom and dad, they'll love it and we'll have plenty of room. And we haven't even got to the good stuff on the outside yet where we start talking about more storage mm -hmm. and more convenience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the other things too, Sean, that we, we, didn't, um, we didn't see in the bedroom there, but this one is prepped for a second AC, you know I mean? Because we talked about it, it is a pretty big fifth wheel. And a lot of times it can be a little bit harder to cool that large of a space. But with that second AC, it does a great job making sure everything is going to be nice and cooled off. Now we get the chance to see some of the slide outs and what mm -hmm. this Atlas can really do. And you start looking at storage space and you start looking at some of the bonuses that we get when you have a unit like this. And I am so glad you picked this one. I mean, look at that. I could hang out in there for a couple of hours. That would be a cool <laughs> space to get away this from. This is why I picked this. Yes. This is one of the reasons why I picked this unit is because of all the storage space that it has. Look at all that. You could store a whole lot of stuff and not feel cramped. Now we come because we are downsized from a five bedroom house to uh, a little square space. So with this, this is just it's just plenty. I mean, you could put a whole lot of stuff that you need in there. That's pretty good. Here's what I see going in there. I see a couple of barbecues going in there, a couple of different sizes. I see chairs going in there, the big ones. You know, when we have the zero gravity chairs that you like, Karen, where you can just go right. lounge. Mom needs a minute. We got the <laughs> birds going. We got the water right there. And that, you know, you could put the extra stuff that you need in there, maybe a little blow up pool. And you know what? If, uh, if your son wants to do a little camping and uh, get in the outdoors, we put a tent in there and he's putting it together in five minutes from Coleman over there. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One of the other things I like in here too, guys, is that, uh, and I think again, it's a great pick, Sylvester, but a lot of times when manufacturers, when they're running plumbing, they'll run vertical plumbing through that storage, and it really kind of uh, creates an issue when you're trying to fit items in there around it. We talk about putting some bigger items in, like those zero gravity chairs. When there's plumbing running through the center, it makes it tough, but they did exactly. a really good job of making sure that all the plumbing was running horizontal along the ceiling there. So, or, uh, just so that way you can slide big items all the way through. So it really just helps utilize that space to its fullest. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Sylvester, what are you putting in there? <laughs> I'm putting my toolbox in there. And your toolbox, I see space of course. My, my toolbox would fit pretty good in there. You know, I'm, I'm actually glad you bring that up, Sylvester, because that's one of the things, a, a lot of people that are new to RVing, it's one of those big things that they forget about is, is to bring tools. And there's so many things with just a, a basic toolbox that you can fix, you know, having a drill, having a screwdriver, having a, you know, a multimeter, just a couple things that will help you with so many, you know, possible things that arise where you can just fix it real quick. Um, I, and I always tell people, you know, bring, bring some hand tools with you. Most definitely. Yeah. Do you have your toolbox down in your Class C over there, Sylvester? Uh, I do. I do. It's a few <laughs> items. <laughs> it's crunched up somewhere. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's shoved in there right now, but you'll be able to know exactly where that is when you see the kind of spacious uh, storage that you got there. Now, as we go back around, you'll see it more of the slide outs here. And, of course, we've got a nice little top that, that comes out as well over the uh, get a little shade, get a little relaxing, get a little barbecuing outside, we like to call it. <laughs> barbecue. 
<laughs> I see. I see what you did there, Sean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you have the double awning on this one, um, which again, Sylvester, great pick. You know, that's that's not something we see super often. Yeah. Uh, but this entire side all has awning coverage, and you know they're only out a little ways, right? They they can fully extend here, um, but you know you get a ton of campsite basically. That, that you have that, that awning coverage, like you said, to kind of protect you from the sun or whatever else you need. Sit down in the shade in that zero gravity chair, really sit back and relax. These big, beautiful windows, just letting in a ton of natural light. Gets you a great view to your campsite. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought up the windows because I know you guys will love this, and, and this has got to be another, uh, I'm going to go ahead and speak for you. This has got to be another reason why you picked this particular <laughs> unit. The windows from your bedroom all the way forward to the, the entertainment center were phenomenal. That's one of the things that really stuck out to me is the windows. I mean, so, because we are content creators, and and being in the RV and trying to con uh, create content, you need tons of lighting. Yeah. So uh, it's it, the it's, more windows, the better. The more windows, the better. Yep. Yeah, that is, that is absolutely awesome. Now we're going to swing around. You're you're seeing uh, we're doing this ultimate RV show national tour in Texas, and uh, as we make our way towards uh, the central part of america and of course then we're going to go to the west coast and we're going to see so many great units over the next several weeks but uh being here everything is bigger in texas <laughs> obviously so that's one of the reasons why i'm really excited that we're seeing this particular unit uh from the outside talk about the front Ian, because i know when you're traveling some of the things that they do for the front of this vehicle are really remarkable yeah so i mean you can see a couple things one in the fact that it is a painted front cap uh, so it's going to be nice and easy to clean and as you travel especially because that part of the fifth wheel will stick up over your truck that's where all your bugs are going to smash, right? That, that's where they're going to hit. So the easier it is to clean, uh, that, that is definitely a, a big plus. And you can also see the kingpin right underneath there. Um, you know, when, you, when you're hooking up, you can see that this one, if, if we get a little bit closer, kind of right there, right? So you see that like pivoting head. It has what they call a rotoflex kingpin on it. Yeah. And what that does is when you're, when you're traveling with your fifth wheels hooked up to your truck, when you start and stop, it, it kind of moves a little bit, right? You know, there's a lot of weight. You stop the truck, it kind of bumps you. You go to pull, it pulls a little bit. But that right there helps eliminate that, so it's a lot smoother transition. So, I mean, the front end here is, is absolutely phenomenal. You have the LED lights if you're hooking Love up the at lights. night. Yeah. yeah, plus it looks great in the campsite. Makes it, makes it easier to find. <laughs> exactly. I love the lights. Aiden loves it. He's like, I, I would love an RV with lights like that. He thinks it's so cool. Now, that's now, Sylvester, Karen, on, on your Class C, do you guys have auto level on that one at all? No. No, actually, it doesn't have leveling. No, we so, don't. so that's another big one, right? I, I talk about this all the time. Uh, one of the, my favorite things on an RV, especially when you get into fifth wheels, is auto level. Because you can back this big bad boy in, and Sylvester, all I have to do or Karen is touch a button, and it does everything else for you. It, it levels it out. You don't have to do anything. You can, Amazing. you know, yeah, go and, you know, just start unpacking or unrolling the awning, whatever you want. In three minutes, you can come back, and that thing is completely level for you. Wow. That's, that's a that's game changer, awesome. right, Sylvester? Yeah, a, it is a game changer. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of those where uh, my wife and I have gotten into a few fights uh, you know, one is, is backing into the site, and then the other one is leveling. And she's like, oh, well, you know, this side needs to come up a little. So I block it up and then, you know, back up onto the blocks. And then, oh, no, nope, you need to take one out. I'm like, but I, I just put it in. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, we've done that before, like back and forth. Like, take it off, add another block, take out one block, go over it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so, yeah. Ooh. That, 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 that's always a task. But with this auto leveling, oh, that's, that's just I just find something else to do. Just push the button and it just levels up. That's pretty good. Well, you guys have been doing this full time, so it's great to have you talk about it. It's great to have you make this particular pick. And it just shows you the different amenities. Going from a Class C, you can get into a fifth wheel and really make the difference of, you know, you see small changes and then you see big changes and you're like, man, these are goals of what we need. The Mom Trotter, tell us all about where we can get a hold of you again, Karen. Sure, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, <clears throat> Facebook, YouTube, and just search the Mom Trotter on all social media. And we certainly appreciate you guys taking, taking us along for the journey as the uh, Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. 
demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. How about that? <laughs> this is what it's all about. <laughs> I was so late getting here, but we had so much fun today talking to everybody. And this is what, you know, this ultimate camping show or ultimate RV show national tour is all about. I'm out of breath like you guys were with the shopping spree today. It was oh, my crazy. God. Yeah, we were on the floor after that shopping spree. <laughs> we only needed a minute on that thing, by the way. I was done at a minute. <laughs> two minutes was lengthy. You know, I can't believe this is day two of week four already. I know. Live from the great state of Texas, and we have been having a blast. You saw these amazing units. I'm still out of breath. Yeah, What's wrong with hard. me? It's hard. It's <laughs> hard. We needed two more practices with a sharpened cart. We'll all get in shape that way. Yeah, we're going to get in much better shape. But listen, here's here's what I love about this particular moment. This is the ultimate giveaway. We have Woo! over $250,000 worth of giveaways. Let's do one right now. All right. Ready? Bryce, what are we giving away? Well, I'm, I'm just going to say the, the winner. You can tell them. We're giving away... The Coleman Power Sports we love UT250. The we love the Coleman Power yeah. Sports. Oh, and apparently, Houston loves the Coleman Power Sports here, too. Because they're gone right now. Because they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would have been driving it in, but someone came and <laughs> bought them all. Do you so. know why? Because we give you the ultimate deals mm -hmm. across the country, and that's what it's all about. All right, so we're giving one away right now. This is what it's all about. You are the winners. You get to benefit from everything we do on this national tour. Bryce, take it away. James Foot, come on down. Just kidding, he's not here. James, but congrats. congratulations. Wow. James, congratulations. You got yourself an amazing Coleman product. You were going to enjoy that for years to come. We are just getting started. The deals only get bigger in Woo. the great state of Texas because why? <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas, right? Everything. Absolutely. You guys ready for day number three? Let's do it. I'm All ready. Right. We're coming right back here. Make sure you join us. Thank you so much for being with us each and every week as we continue the ultimate RV show national tour. I'm Sean Parr for the Remingtons and the Jurgies. Have a great rest of your night. <laughs>